Hello, everybody. Hi there. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Graveyard Keeper. Uh, my world was loading just for a moment there. Please excuse the trouble. Hello to everybody. Good evening to everybody. Good morning to everybody. Amazing. Beautiful. Astro, who is here currently, who was also joining us for the cocktail stream earlier, was mentioning that chat has expired, unfortunately, because I have a time on, timer on that. I could probably optimize on it, to be honest. Was saying, previously during our cocktail segment, that at some point it'd be really cool to kind of follow along with the drinks and have the same exact experience that I'm having. Although, probably won't be the... I didn't say exact. I didn't say exact. We'll say that. But to have your own experience. It's subjective. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. My drink is already Angostura bitters in it tonight. It's great. It's lovely. It's a little sour, a little funky, and kind of sweet now that I threw some blue curacao in it. It's great. I call it... It's not quite the same as it was before. It used to be the Queen's Park Swizzle. I will call it... The Furious Park Swizzle. Furious Park Swizzle. It was great. In honor of Aura Fury. You can see the Aura Fury down here. I can bite the flame if I want to. Although I wouldn't necessarily want to. Flames are hot and destructive. It could kill your family. And then you'd wind up in my graveyard. And honestly, that's not... You don't want that. You really don't want that. Uh, in any case, you might notice that there's a little blue flame next to me. And that means that there's another Aura Fury Watchathon going on right now. For those who are not necessarily aware of the Aura Fury community, it's a nonprofit organization that aims to make a safe space for people to just be themselves, play games and whatnot. It's fun. I kind of lurk around in their chats a bunch and do streams sometimes and promote myself in their channel. They're very nice folks. None of them are dicks. They're very nice people. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And there's a little watchathon going on right now. All that means is just there's people streaming. There's people streaming, there's people doing YouTube videos in honor of the community. And since I call myself a proud member of such a community, I wanted to do a little something. I did a tiny little cocktail twist for them. And I'll also be streaming on Friday as well for a very long time. It'll probably be an all-night Minecraft stream. Because I like Minecraft, and you know what? I need something like that. I gotta have me another one of those moments. We're back here in Graveyard Keeper. I don't exactly know what's going on, to be honest. I don't I don't know. I really don't know. I need to be an aristocrat. I need more money. I do not currently have money, but I require money. And so I will try to make money. I need 12 gold coins, I believe. Right? Let's double check that. I need 12 gold coins to be an aristocrat. Aristocrat. 12. And I have... I have... I have... I have... Almost four. I'm trying trying my best. I'm turning my beach dust over here. Best as I possibly can. So, I'm trying to make money. Trying to find out ways to make money. I think I'm going to try to sell things as much as I possibly can. In the meantime, I'm also going to try to increase the level of grandeur of my graveyard over here uh, and figure out how to upgrade my cathedral. Apparently, my cathedral does not allow for uh, to stained glass windows, which is the dumbest thing. Why would you let me craft stained glass windows? But not let me place them anywhere. It just seems silly. Or at least I thought. Wait, couldn't? Wasn't that the case? I don't know where my stained glass windows are. Where are my stained glass windows? Didn't I put them outside? Oh, no. Did I lose my windows? They uh, stole uh, uh, Oh, no. I don't... I don't know. I thought you were over here. Where are my stained glass windows? I... Don't know where they went. Maybe they're in the basement. They're probably in the basement, along with, uh, uh well, near the alchemy stuff. That or I'm confused. Or perhaps I had, did I have a chest in here? I'm confused. I don't know where my stained glass windows went. Are you down here? I don't know where my windows are. This is confusing. All right, well, I'm sure I'll find those eventually. They were of no, they were of no use to me. Currently, so alas. Anyway, I'm gonna make money and figure out what to do next. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I honestly don't have much of a plan for this one. I'll admit it. Sorry, y'all. I got no plan. My plan, my plan is to make money, burn bodies, make some good things, and then, uh, and then hopefully, uh, purge ourselves of our inner evils. I like purging ourselves of our, our, our inner evils. It makes you a better person and makes me look like less of a monster. Because I'm ripping your bodies apart. By the way, you may be accompanied by some sounds of pots, pans, bags, and whatnot in the background. My dearest, who I cohabitate with, is making pretzels, it seems. And honestly, I love pretzels so much that I couldn't tell her no. I, I couldn't say, no, no sounds during my stream. This is my time. There is no my time. Note, if you have a partner that you coexist with, 
Maybe if you have boundaries, that's cool. But expect expect some boundaries to be crossed. This is how it'll be. Aster has to wake up at 4 a.m. for your flight. He's going to Mexico, where I've been told not to drink the water. Although Astro, a much more daring man than I, says that the, the water will be okay where he's staying. And I trust him on that. I trust him completely. Making pretzels? Anna's making pretzels. Anna's making some pretzels. Or at least that's what she tells me. Maybe, if I'm lucky, she's actually making pot brownies. Nope. No, we don't do weed in this apartment. The answer is no. <laughs> I have never made weed brownies in my apartment, nor do I plan to. I'm pretty sure that would get me in a lot of trouble. Also, like, the relative payoff of all. I don't do that stuff anyway. Unless. Unless. But the graveyard keeper don't care. He grows hemp all he wants to in his garden. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work to make pot brownies. I've been told by people who do so. I have, um... I was in a fraternity house once. I, I, I was in a fraternity once. I still am in a fraternity. Technically, I'm a brother for life. I'm in a fraternity. And I w did live in the fraternity house once. And, you know, you know, we did. We did some rambunctious things in our youth. Um, like make and or consume pot brownies. <clears throat> Lovely experience for all those involved, especially those who are partaking. But sometimes those who watch. Honestly, I have also partaken in the craft of just watching people be drunken and or high idiots and it is a lovely time i will i will definitely say that sometimes it is sometimes it's even more fun to watch the people who are currently under the influence not putting themselves in danger and making sure that they keep themselves safe more so than actually partaking on your own it's 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 hilarious i i love the world that i live in it's a great world that i live in currently i'm gonna put all my seeds in my chest seeds in my chest that's a funny thing to say i'm gonna take as much crop waste as i can and get rid of it i don't need all this stuff unless can i Ooh, i'm gonna see if i can sell this crop waste i might be able to this could be good if you don't go to college and a few ones and do and a few ones and do little experimenting you're missing out honestly in my opinion explore a little bit in your life Honestly, if I, I I will say this, you don't you don't need there is no need to do drugs of any kind. However, if you plan on doing so and want to do so, find a group of friends that you trust. Find a group, a social group that you trust. Like I'm I'm telling you, not like, oh they said it would be okay. I mean like you know these people, you trust these people, and you feel safe around them. That's the best environment to try something like that. And that's 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 what I'll say in the matter. And that's what I did, and that's what I encourage other people to do. And that's not always going to be the case, but you know what? Try, try as best as you can. If you're gonna do anything, like, I can't tell you not to do anything, but just be safe. So whatever you do, do whatever you do, do, do safe. What's that here? Get high on life. Get high on life, Anna says. Convert the air you breathe into pure dopamine. If you can do that, if you can do what Anna does, apparently, do that. I asked my Keep doctors why people did drugs, like, in college. Think about that. <laughs> Anna asked her doctor why she shouldn't do drugs and why other people do so. The answer, I don't know. What was their answer, Anna? I'm curious. They looked at me when I was like, I don't understand it. They're like, so I get the impression you're happy most of the time. I'm like, yeah, I love life. And she's like, so in order for some people to feel that feeling that you have all the time, they try other things. I was like, that's a thing? They're just not happy? Some people use drugs as an escape. I don't use drugs in this, as an escape. Some not on the regular it use. Some people, eh, sometimes people use it to game the system. Although, you know, I don't know anybody who does that. If you've learned to game the system with drugs, DM me. No, please. Nah, actually, you probably shouldn't. If you're willing, whatever you have to share, I will entertain it. I may not respond. You may be blocked. However, you know, we're looking out for number one here. I could be put on a list. I don't want to be put on a list. I'm probably already on a list out there. Sometimes. Sometimes drugs are scary. Sometimes the world is a scary place. It's scary sometimes. It's a very scary place sometimes. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And I just noticed something. My face looks incredibly red today. I don't know why my face looks so red. I'm going to adjust my lighting just a little bit. Flush? Flush? Can I change my light settings? There we go. That, whoa, that is too bright. Whoa! Whoa, dim it up a little bit. That's fine. We'll just keep it the way it is. I don't really... Who cares? We're not worried about appearances over here. Not in, not in particular, at least. Astro says hallucinogenics are a very big experimented thing, whether they are happy... We're depressed. Indeed. Very much experimental. I've been told that if you do enough shrooms that you'll be cured of all of your inner humors and diseases. However, it seems like you must suffer a lot first before that takes place. I've seen those videos of like, I've seen those videos of like people like going on like 
trips and stuff and like being like dunked in water as a form of like baptism and stuff that looks terrifying definitely not me as a sort of it just seems terrifying there was also a question of whether i can change my lights oh hell yeah yes i can let's color cycle this thing for a hot minute oh yeah come on color change your color let's just leave that on for a hot second just to just to portray the point i'm answering a question here and destroying a bunch of crop wastes I don't need them. You want bites or you want pretzels? Do I want bites or pretzels? Ah, it's okay. Whatever's easiest for you. The light's not very bright. We've kind of... Oh, we can see the color gradient. Look at that. Oh, it's green now. Nice. I like that. I'm going to wait till it gets all the way back to red and then I put it back to normal. What I'm trying to do is... So the, the, the light that I use is L-I-F-X. I tried to buy more of this particular light bulb. And apparently they're completely out. I want to get more. Uh, but they, they, they don't hold anymore right now. Amazon. Uh, Amazon.com apparently sells them. I think they're like 40 bucks a piece, maybe? It's cool. And they connect to the internet. And they work pretty well. They, they're internet connected. They have an app. They work. But what I want to do is figure out a way to connect these up to the chat. They do have public APIs. I do have a chat bot. I think I can make it work. However, it requires an upper level of authorization that I'm not quite familiar with and honestly would be rather difficult for me. So, for now, it is merely a dream... Merely a fever dream. I will get there one day. Probably. Hopefully. Let's plant some plants. Plant some plants. Do some things. It's a very... It is a very slow... Very slow cycle. But it's pleasant. This would be for like... I imagine like a, a dorm room being uh, um, uh, embellished with lights such as these. And you would watch them from afar in the dormitories across the street and be like, Man, I wish I were cool as cool as the person who put LEDs on their motorcycle, car, and all over their room, and their computer. I wish I could be as cool as those people. Astro says, like, they take, I think it's a 1500 dosage and become, like, extremely sick at first, but later on, having their mental problems fixed, or, like, for some they said they were no longer bipolar and it's cured their mood swings. I mean, if you think about it, if it's all a matter of the mind... If you shock the mind in such a way, then I'm sure something will happen. And dare I say, I don't think long-term effects, whether they be positive or negative, are totally out of the question. Like, you know, it's the human body is still a very, very relatively unstudied thing. You never really know. You never know indeed. Anyway, let's turn those lights back to normal. There we go. Here we go. Oh, change up a little bit. Apply over one second. Yeah. It's cool. I can actually program like a... Oh, that is very... Why are you still changing colors? No, stop that. Oh, the color cycle is still going. That was that was wacky. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Astro says he's heard that it also can help with bipolar disorder. Very interesting. It's like, I mean, I think of it this way. Like, all our brain is, on some level of complexity, is like signals. It's it's chemicals indu it's it's chem chemicals inducing signals. And if you put enough chemical in there. Who's to say that you can't shock it to do something else or function in a different way? I don't know. I mean, would I be the one who conducts studies to see, like, if I dope you up on shrooms for, like, a ton of time, that you'll be okay? That's not me. There seem to be a lot of legal concerns there, and I don't really feel like going to jail anytime soon. A lot of... A lot of it's a medical thing. It's a medical thing. BPD. Bi oh, borderline personality. Did I say bipolar? Borderline personality disorder. My apologies. That's BPD. But supposedly... If you take enough drugs, it can cure you. If you have experience with doing a copious amounts of drugs and your personality disorder is being either mitigated or completely erased, let us know. I'm curious about that. I would love to hear your experience. That's another thing too. I can watch a documentary on something like that or a YouTube video, but what does that really tell me? I'd rather hear, I would honestly rather hear about it from somebody who like swears by it, like in person, like, I don't know. I feel like it hits me deeper that way. It hits me deeper if somebody is just like, yeah, this is something I did. I'm going to talk to you about my experience, and I want to share it with the world. Specifically you, random person that I met. I think that's pretty interesting stuff. That or they may be totally a lion out of their ass. In which case, you know, to each their own. You could throw me for a roll. I doubt pretty much anything anybody tells me anyway, so I will probably doubt you nonetheless, even if I did slightly believe you. Ah. The brain is a funny place no matter what. Shrug. You don't know. Man shrugging. I don't know why, but all I can think of when I see the man shrugging uh, em emote is the the fact that there are other 
there are many different emo uh, emojis out there now, including various different ones that kind of breach beyond the gender gap. Like, you know, not only do you have pregnant women, but also pregnant person, but also pregnant man. And there's something about that that's like, not just because it's the year 2020 and I totally vibe with that particular political dispute. I love that. I just love the concept of like, it could be anything, it's whatever you imagine. There's probably like a meta meaning to that emote out there, or that emoji out there, that I'm yet not yet aware of. For example, the avocado. I have no idea what that is supposed to represent, the avocado. Some have told me it represents pregnancy. I interpret it as just acknowledgement. I use the avocado as a means to acknowledge that I heard what you said, and I've processed it. But I have no response. Instead of saying, K, K. I'm just gonna say avocado instead. That's my that's my way of doing it. That's how I deal. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Hmm. What an interesting observation. Oh, can I put the flesh back in the body? This is a good body. I wanna save this body. Have we made you better? We've made you better. I'm gonna see what makes this body the best it could possibly be. I'm gonna try my best at least. It is claw day. What do I have in my inventory? Do I have wine? I have wine. I have incense and stuff. I gotta figure out who I can sell my shit to. Excuse me. I gotta eat stuff. What can I eat? I can eat. I don't want to eat the burgers. Uh, pumpkins are we used to sell. I'll eat some carrots. I have plenty of carrots for next time. There we go. That'll be good. Astro's go to. Astro's go to. Astro. Astro. I don't have an accent like that. Oh wow, that heart really did a lot. I'm gonna put that back in there. Astro's go to is to just say, all right. Yeah. Bye. All right. However, avocado makes for a great reaction. Karen, how do you sign an avocado? Oh! Anna asked me how to sign avocado. You take the letter A, and you scoop it. Avocado. Avocado. That's how you sign, in American Sign Language, ASL. Avocado. And isn't that a most wonderful thing? You've learned something today. Congrats, everyone. You've done it. Oh, that made your body better. I like that. We're at the five skulls now. I'm gonna take this skull out. See if that makes this body any better. All right. That's okay, actually. We added some more darkness. We added some more badness. However, we've recovered. There's a better chance of getting more stone in there. Eventually, if I collect 300 blue points, I will be able to see what these things are worth. Uh, that made bad. So I'm going to put the skin back, actually. That's a no-go. This is a good body. This body's a good body. You can tell by the, the flesh on its cheeks. It's a nice body. That... It's still the same as before. What about your brain? What does your brain say about you? This one's brain says... Oh, that makes you a terrible... Oh, I made a mistake. No. All right, this body's no good anymore. Peace out, Girl Scout. Get out of here. You're a bad body now. Don't like you. What about you? Oh, I don't want you. Oh, you're another... Oh, you got a lot of skulls. You're fine. Put some of these body parts over here. Makes Astro wonder how your body would look and be rated in this game. I don't know. Apparently, you can have purple organs. If you have purple organs, please see a doctor. Please. That's not that odd. Protect yourself. That's not that odd? No, your lungs are purple. Anna says my lungs are purple. They're like a pink. There's like a purplish pink. No, wait, these are like boldly purple. I honestly thought that for some reason dark organs actually existed in my body. Lungs are pink. Our flesh is pink. We're all pink on the inside. Pink, fleshy, and dark. Who cares about the color of our skin? We're all squishy and pink on the inside. If you die of deoxygenation, it's um, purple. If you die of deoxygenation, says Anna. Your skin's probably purple. Your skin is probably purple. Or a tint of blue. Anna says purple, though. I believe her. Ooh, another body just arrived. Let's see if it's a fresh one. It is a fresh one. It just got here. So, take it that as you will. It's only pink because it's been stained with blood. Yeah, we have a bunch of... The reason why our bodies are pink is because of all the blood that's running through us. Okay, well, I saw purple lungs multiple times in cadavers. Anna has actually opened up bodies before and looked within us all, and she says they're purple. And if she says it's purple, then I have no reason to qualm with that. The gallbladder is green. The gallbladder is green, there she says. Are. Are there any yellow parts of my body? I don't know. Oh. Mm. Anna says she doesn't know. No, your nerves are like white. Though they're always represented as like yellow. Type. My nerves are white, she says. <laughs> so is the rest of my body. I'm a white individual. I have, I have white skin. I am Caucasian male. What other stuff do I have to sell? I can probably pack up some packages. 
right? Oh, I need to sleep though. That's kind of the night. I miss the I miss the market man. So I'll have to wait till next week anyway. Alas. Alas, alas, alas. Alas, the prince could not find alas to call his bride. Alas. Alas, alas, indeed. But now that we're well, well rested, it's Martian day. I am still waiting to get a dark heart for Snake. Snake needs a dark heart. And my god, Snake's gonna get it. One way or another. Damn, man, it's gonna get it. I think I get to him. Oh, actually, I need to go back in here and see. I know I have beets and I know I have cabbages. And I want to take most of them because I can sell them to the farmer. Oh, there's not a lot of beets and not a lot of cabbages. All right. Hey, Anna, does any organ show up... Uh, does any organ that shows up black means that it's like... Oh, if any... Excuse me. If any organ is black, that means it's bad, right? The only one that I know that can get black is your lungs, and that's usually due to coal mining or smoking. Coal lung... Mine lung, coal lung, or smoking lung means black. Uh, black lungs. And that sounds like a bad sign. Maybe that doesn't mean you're dying. Usually. Although it means that the body is gunked. Very gunked. That's my impression. I don't know about anything else turning black. And I can't think of anything else that turns black. Technically, oh, my they, you can hear is her. muscles. So, like, I'm not very helpful in that one. Not enough resources. You lie. Oh, I need more flitches. Interesting. Honestly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Technically speaking, the one organ that could be considered black, or rather a very dark brown, is the skin. The skin is an organ. It's a part of the integumentary system. Your epithelium can be... Or actually, I don't know if it's the epithelium. Epithelium. Does the epithelium have the melanin in it? Yes, it's in the... So there's five layers of the epithelium. Five layers of the epithelium. Or, sorry, not layers, but they're five different cells, so they kind of layer. Yeah, I don't remember if that's actually considered a layer or not. I think that's the only organ, aside from the lungs, which can come about via non-natural causes that will turn or be viewed in some aspects as black. I think that's the normal one. That's very normal. If Astro's muscles turn black, you'd be very concerned. I, well, me, knowing what I know about myself and looking in the mirror on a daily basis, if any part of my body turned black, my hair, my eyes, any part of me, I would be concerned. Because I'd be like, wow, that ain't right. My pupils are black. That's about it. The, the back, yeah, that's it. I think that's oh, the only black part of my body. I'm trying to think. I think that's the only black part of my body. Yeah, my pupils. That's all I got. That's all I can think of. That's the black part of my body. It's just my pupils. Hmm. I learned something new today. I learned something new about myself today. And that's always a good thing. I always love to learn, learn new things new. I need flitches. I need some flitches to be able to package up all this stuff that I'm shipping out and making money on. Not a lot of money. However, enough. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I wonder if I'm an aristocrat if I'll make more money on my shipments. Oh, that'd be nice. What else can I ship out? I can ship out onions. Vegetables. Astros the same, but he's also got a black ring around the color of your eye. Ooh. That's cool. That's cool stuff. I don't think I have... I know Anna's got like a... She's got like a copper. I got a green around my... Green. Mind. Sorry, not copper. Uh, yeah, green. These are lies. They're a mix. She has hazel eyes, and they're mixed a little bit. Actually, I was told at work the other day that I have slightly different colored eyes. Not not that the eyes themselves are different colors from each other, just that there seems to be a gradient of color in my irises. Going from some shade of brown to another shade of brown. What color are my eyes? What color are my eyes? Brown. They are brown. Look deep into my eye. What color do you see? Wait, wait, let's get a little closer. I'm going to turn on my... Wait. Turn on my... Flashlight. What color are my eyes? Let's take a look. It's a tiny camera. We can't see. Oh my goodness. We can't see. Well, I don't want to put my eye full screen. This is my this is my brown eye. Look at it move. Anyway, I think that's technically NSFW. Shield your eyes. Shield your bodies. Shield your souls and your brains and your mind. Anyway, back to your regularly, regularly scheduled cam... Like, Words. Back to your regularly scheduled me. It's me. I'm here. I'm scheduled. 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. HTTPS colon slash slash switch.tv slash cameraman. Bodies. Dead bodies. Love those. 
What do I have in my inventory? Oh, I have a bunch of body parts. Ugh. Astro's got like a green blue hazel. Yo. That sounds beautiful. I love I love the way that blue eyes look. I I, I love the way that blue and green eye, green eyes look. In my mind and gray eyes too. In my mind, those eye colors just like stand out considerably. It's awesome. I think this is a really cool thing. Ugh. Oh, the heart didn't work. I made a mistake. All right, you are now a bad body too. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Put all my body parts in there. I can eat these maggots. Mmm, tasty. Astro's grandparents both have green, blue, hazel, but your sister has like a gray blue. That's such a beautiful color. I think it's so cool. A dark brain. Yay. Casually throws body. <clears throat> Out of here. We don't need it. Does that make you a better person? Wow. That completely removed all of your darkness. I'd say that's a quality body. That's such a quality body. I'm gonna put it in my body yard. My graveyard. Oh, yes. We like bodies like that. Why you got a body like that? Do I do like that? Oh, yeah, you got a body like that. My graveyard quality is quite low because I need to make more tombstones and stuff like that. And I just... I haven't yet. Maybe I'll do that today. Maybe I will. Enter. Enter the corpse. Enter, enter the corpse. That was quite a discussion the last time we had that. The last conversation we had about entering or entering corpse got a little wacky. Got a little wacky there. Let's take these bodies out to the fi Let's take these bodies out to the field. They need to be burned. Need more carrots. Need more carrots. Put more carrots in there. Need more bodies. Need more carrots. Need more everything. I am mostly burning bodies right now as a way to get money. And when I find a good one every once in a while, I bury it. Or burn it. Actually, I get money for both those things. If I bury it, I have the chance of making my graveyard ooh so wonderfully good. Oh, I love the flames. Love the burning of the flames. Oh, get in there. Get in there, you little... Little crazy, crazy bruh. Little rascal. Little rascal body. A crazy little body. A crazy little body. You're going to a crazy little grave. Crazy little burial mound. Everybody dies. Everybody dies sometime. Remember that. You live your life to the fullest. YOLO. <laughs> YOLO, my dudes. It's Wednesday, my dudes. And that's all I have to say about that. It is most definitely the third day of the week. If your day, if your week starts on a Monday, if it starts on a Sunday, it is the fourth day of the week. It's just how it is. I did not make the rules. I merely follow them. I know. Controversial. Indeed. I agree. Oh, I have too much space for stuff. Can I eat a heart? No. Cannot eat hearts. Cannot consume hearts. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna put some stuff away. Can I do anything with wheat? Oh, I can make I can make beer with wheat. I should put that downstairs, right? Right? Beer with wheat? I keep the wheat down here? Yeah. Can I make more beer? Beer, 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 beer. No, 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 I want mead. Yeah, I'd like some mead. If I make mead is actually an excellent source of energy. So I will I have hops. Yeah, I'm gonna make some mead. Make some mead. And I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't I don't need ash. I don't need salt. I think I can sell these burial urns. So I need to check one of those things. I think I can sell them to one of the guys in the village, honestly. I'm gonna go, uh, it's dark out right now, so I guess we'll get to that later. Eventually. Astro says, that's one of the things people discussed about in the Bible, to figure out what G when Jesus actually died. Yo, totally! Honestly, if you're trying to time things, it really- Oh, because number of days. It's about the number of days, you know? And technically, when did they start counting? Sunday, day of rest, or the day after? I would think- in my personal opinion, that Sunday being the day of rest would occur at the end of the week. I don't know why you would rest before the week. You would rest at the end after a hard day's week's work. So I would think that Monday is the first day of the week. However, my calendar seems to suggest otherwise. So that's just how it be. I start my work week on Mondays. That's how it feels. I could want it differently, but you know. Actually, it's, it's, it's actually quite interesting. Back when I was still in college, and I didn't have a full-time job yet. I was doing some part-time stuff. I was doing my schoolwork. I was technically part-time on school, too. I didn't have a lot of classes my senior year. <laughs> See, I need some water. Uh, but it was actually quite interesting. Like, I didn't wake up and determine what I was doing based off of the, 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 the day of the week. Really, I was just like, I wake up and I work on something. I don't necessarily know what that something is until I start working on it. I had a very... I had a very off-schedule off, off schedule, 
uh, relationship with the homework and other work work that I would be doing. It was very, very asynchronous. Um, that is very much not the case right now. The 9 to 5 job kind of changes that up for me, to be honest. But uh, I don't know which way I prefer it. Um, I, I honestly don't know. Previously, I would work pretty much any day of the week that I felt like. Uh, and I would take the time to do so. And now, I, it's only, like, not, like it's a 7.45 to around 5-ish. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. And just to keep myself, like, on the call, um, on, on the on the radio frequencies to be able to type out to my coworkers and stuff in other countries um, throughout the latter parts of the day. But uh, I don't know which way I prefer, honestly. I I think it's cool, both ways. I got no problem with it either way, honestly. Astro says, it used to be Sunday. So it used to be that Sunday was the last, and then Jesus died on Good Friday and then rose three days later, which was Easter Sunday. They turned it into the first day of the week to remember the guy. Jesus, I don't know about a lot of you. Didn't know you personally. However, you made a lot of change in the world, and you did a lot of good for the world too. And honestly, I can't fault I, I can't fault anybody for putting good things into the world. I think all the bad stuff was merely consequences. I think all the bad stuff that comes about because of, like, I'd say, I'd say, on a more broad spectrum, Christianity in general or Catholicism in general. Not Jesus. Jesus, from what I could tell, was a totally chill guy. A really awesome dude. Maybe even a magician. Maybe even like one of the most charismatic men of all history. What a good guy. I don't hear anything bad about him for the most part. Although I, I may just be unaware. Honestly, I haven't, I haven't read up on my Bible very much. But from what I've been told, pretty good guy. Really good guy. Astro can say, the dude liked to party. Dude, turning water into wine? <laughs> he was either drinking that himself, or sharing it with all his buds. That's all I'm saying. But now, I like this corpse. Good corpse. Very good corpse. Uh, I could use more skin. I'll take your skin off. I use that for paper. I use skin for paper. Oh, I'm out of energy. I... I'm gonna make my way into the town and see if I can sell my pots to the one guy. I'll go to the dead horse. I'll talk to my bro over here. How you doing? Hey. Better talk with my husband. I know, I know. You don't have anything of consequence to say. You're just trying to sell me the same shit every single time. I'll sell my certificates. Finish that offer. Can you talk to me? No? Fine. What about you? Nope. You have nothing to say. Do you still just do your thing? Nope. Nothing. Okay. Fine. I will walk along then. I will talk to my buddy Adam, who lives down here. He makes pottery, so I'm guessing he buys pottery too. Maybe? I would think so. <laughs> Do you buy pottery? You don't buy pottery. That's unfortunate. Maybe- oh, these are burial urns. There's actually ashes in there, so maybe I can sell them to, like, the mer- the bishop. Probably the bishop. Why was the merchant- why would the merchant want that? I don't know. Let's go in here. I can collect my muns. Money, money, money. That was pretty good. With the four gold now. Yeeks. Yeeks indeed. I'll make my way over to the farmer. Sell some of my crops. The crops that I can't normally sell. Um, and I want to see... I wonder if I can sell stuff to the uh, the miller. The mill guy. Is it the miller? Is that what you were? Are you a miller? What are you? Wheat farm. Miller? Miller. What do you, what do you buy? Oh, I don't have any of this stuff on you that would you but I have anyway. You sell hops though. That's cool. That's hop. That's hop, bro. <gasps> a new body has arrived. Yay! I don't want to go sell things with the farmer first. Then make my way back to see sweet home. I'll figure things out has been there. Oh. Astro's got some song lyrics. I do like Green Day. Actually, speaking of which. Oh, I can't sell this stuff. Unfortunate. Green Day, I, I plan on going to a music festival, Firefly, starring, headlining, Green Day, Dua Lipa, uh, My Chemical Romance, and there was somebody else, I don't remember who, oh, Halsey, Halsey would be there too, but alas, Astro says, I walk a lonely road, down the only one I've never known, don't know where it goes, but it's home to me, and I walk alone, walk this empty street, on the boulevard of broken dreams where the city sleeps and i'm the only one and i walk alone wait 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 i walk alone i 
walk my shadows the only one that walks beside me my shallow heart the only thing that's beating I don't remember this particular line of the song today I'll walk alone I need to go to sleep because I'm out of energy or make some meat Either one, you know, it fits so well to see you actually walking in the game. Oh my god, I love it Green Day's good good, but the next band you want to see live is Slipknot. I feel like that would be a pretty awesome performance I like I'll admit I have never been all right, well, technically, I've been to my father's concert, which is kind of like grungy, metal-y, like hard rock type stuff. But I've never been to like... Have I? No, I, I take that back. I've been to my father's shows, and I've been to shows that my... The uh, bands that my father associates with. I've been to shows like that before. It's pretty cool. Not a big one. None as popular as Slipknot. But I feel like that would be a really cool time to see like a bunch of these... Just like the... Oh my god. When my hair was a lot longer, I totally met the... Oh, uh, heavy metal mosh pits hit way harder than rap pits do. Dude, I think the most mosh pit I've ever been in was a punk rock mosh pit. I got hurt. I was punched in the face. Or rather, I didn't punch- I wasn't punched in the face. I fell into a guy to which their body made contact with my face. And I was bruised. And a little beaten. And I was bleeding. But it was awesome. It was an awesome experience. Dangerous? Yes. Awesome. Totally. 100%. I needed water. I came back here for water. That's what I needed. I need water to make mead. Because that's what I have. Oh my goodness, it was awesome. Bucket of clear water. Bucket of clear water. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want that. I want... This gives me water. But I want this. Nope. Take. Take. I get 50 at a time? I get 10 at a time. Alright. I need... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, I have one extra. I don't need that. Luckily, water... It'd be so awesome if I could sell water. <laughs> what a game breaker. The pit that Astro's referring to had like 80 people all just going at it. Wow. That's a heavy mosh. I don't know. I don't even think I would survive. I'm a, I'm a rather small individual. I do not think I would survive something like that. Although, actually, I guess it... Well, I guess a mosh pit can be rowdy, but not necessarily dangerous. Like, if it's a bunch of chill folks who are like more or less keeping keeping themselves in line, then it could be just a really fun time for everybody that doesn't necessarily need to be like this craziness. However, I get it. I understand. Aster was a tall person, but only 170, 170 pounds, I suppose. I am 5'6". I'm a medium-sized individual and weigh about 130 pounds. I could be used as a hacky sack. Somebody much strong, somebody stronger than me would probably be able to. Somebody like a like a mildly strong person in any regard could probably throw me halfway across the concert hall, and hopefully, if somebody catches me on the other side, that actually sounds very pleasant. I do like that feel. I do like that feeling. It's pretty cool. Take my flesh with me. I'm gonna do a bunch of. I'm gonna do a bunch of cooking and stuff. I have a bunch of flesh that I can cut up. That's a good thing. Teleport me back to the sweet home. I'm lazy. I do these things. Let's make a bunch of... Oh, I need paper. Ah, I need paper. Ah, weightlessness feels great. I I don't like the feeling of weightlessness while I'm falling. I like the feeling of weightlessness after I've like reached that velocity and stopped accelerating. That's an awesome feeling. Like floating in the water feels awesome. I love that feeling. In that In that regard, I feel rather weightless. I like the feeling like when you get to the bottom of or like midway down like the roller coaster drop where like you've stopped accelerating maybe uh, but like you just feel like you feel like you're in free fall free fall feels awesome free fall feels awesome after you hit terminal velocity the feeling the sinking feeling I get in my stomach aside from that is a little it's off-putting to me however I do enjoy it nonetheless this is pig skin paper I'm gonna use skin actual human skin to make more paper because that's that's what we have available that's what we have to use so we'll do that and he likes that he likes that a lot we are respectful we like to use every part of the human 
And then do paper, we do this. It's just, I can use a bunch of skin for paper. Tons of skin for paper. I'm making a bunch of paper. Oh, this is a bunch of pigskin paper. Or, yeah, pigskin. That means the humans are pigs. Disgusting. Or maybe. Factual. Some people are piggy. I understand that. Some people are total hams. Some would call me a bit of a ham. I get it. But alas, ah, no, I'm not a ham. I'm a cam. To spell my name in ASL. C Let's see, what direction? Is there we go. This is the right direction. I'll use my right hand. C A M E R. So I've crossed my fingers. O N. And then the X. Arrgh. Now we got paper. But it's not the paper that I want. I need to make it into better paper. Actually, you know what I haven't made in a while? I haven't made flyers in a while. I'm gonna take... Oh, give me those maggots back. Those are delicious. I'm gonna take these flyers with me. What do I need to make flyers again? Uh, I can make clean paper. To make flyers, I need just ink and paper. I want to make some of those. Because the flyers are what I use to increase, like, I guess the amount of goods that I can sell. Or my reputation or something like that. Is my mead done yet? My mead is finished. My happy juice makes me good. Yum. Meat is so good. Fun fact, says Astro. From the grapevine, you've been he's been told about people that people taste really similar to pork. I'm concerned where the grapevine started. I'm not concerned where the grapevine is. I respect that. I believe you. I feel like I feel like I I feel like that's definitely something that you could Google. Like if you had if you had to say that human flesh tastes like something Definitely wouldn't be chicken. I feel like if you told me human tastes like chicken, I'd be like, nah, I don't know about that. But I don't know. I have, I never tried. Anna says everything tastes like chicken. That's what everyone tells me. Like, everyone, everyone tells, tells you everything tastes like chicken. Not everything tastes like chicken. Frog legs kind of taste like a savory, a little more savory chicken. I, I will say that for a fact. I've had frog legs. I love frog legs. Frog legs are awesome. I like to eat them when I go to um, Chinese buffets. Uh, those are good. Alligator is tough. Actually, I don't remember what alligator tastes like, but I've had alligator before. I'm trying to think of things that I know that, that don't taste like chicken. Swordfish. I just had sword... Uh, actually, we ate some swordfish earlier this week uh, for swordfish dinner on Monday. Swordfish tastes like fish. Swordfish tastes like fish. That's true. It does not taste like chicken. Not in my opinion, at least. Fish tastes like fish. Fish tastes like fish, says Anna. Fish are fish are fish are fish are fish. Except fish that doesn't taste like good fish. Except that fish that don't like taste fish. like the good fish. But you never know. Frog legs do be pretty tasty. Oh, yeah. And Thank, I guess, says, Taste of human depends on what you eat. What? And pray, I tell you, boy. Where'd you learn that? Cameron. Was it the internet? I, I must know. I must know. You know what I just noticed? I actually just noticed. I think... I think the coloration that I'm seeing on my camera... I think my color, my camera is actually auto adjusting for cam for color. I think I need to change that. There's setting, there's a bunch of settings on this camera that I'm not totally familiar with, and I think one of those is a slight color correction, automatic color correction. And I think that that, like, I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm just seeing things, but I feel like my face keeps slightly changing color. I need to work on that. I need to optimize on that. I love to learn new things about the tools that I use. Astro say crab do not taste like fish. Oh yeah, crab does not taste like fish. Neither does lobster. I don't think so. Those taste like salty fish. Anna says they taste like salty fish. So I don't like them. You shouldn't like them. By the way, I apologize that I continue to repeat the things that Anna says. I can't hear her so well, but I know that you can hear her. I'm not totally deaf to that. Anna, speak for the crowd. Just normal Why? voice. Why? Yeah, we can hear her. It's fine. I don't know if we can hear her well, but... Ocean Spider and Ocean Scorpion do not taste the same. I didn't know those were things. What's an Ocean Spider? I don't know. Ocean spiders and ocean scorpions are don't taste the same and are, I, I'm guessing, not the same. I am interested in this. You have piqued my curiosity. I want to taste it. I want to eat that. I want to eat that good. I want to eat that real good. I like the taste of conch. Conch. C-O-N-C-H. Conch good. Conch good. I like conch. Conch fritters taste awesome. I can buy them down south. It's a lovely time. Ooh, it is almost Sunday. Uh, and on Sunday, I, I don't really want- Oh, this is a good body. Oh, let me- That's a good one. Um, I'm gonna go up and talk to my boy. My boy, the bishop. Maybe he buys, uh, maybe he buys 
Oh, no, no, no. Put you back down. I gotta put the heart back. Maybe he buys burial, ur burial urns, which seems pretty sick, honestly, but alas. Spider equals crab. Scorpion equals lobster. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, that was a bad one. Put, please put those intestines back. Thank you. We don't Do need those. Do crickets taste like chicken? Do crickets taste like chicken? No. I'm pretty sure someone told me that. Maybe they do? I don't know. I haven't had crickets recently. I, I, of the crickets that I've eaten in my life, they were very, very crunchy. And crunchy crunchy thing don't taste like chicken to me. Yes, it Anna says, yes, it does. It could taste like fried chicken. I, I guess it could taste like fried chicken. I don't know. No, no, no crickets that I've eaten have tasted like chicken. Because I've eaten crickets before. Recently? Not recently. Exactly. You never know. It has not been recently. I have not eaten crickets recently. That is, to Anna's point, a very true statement. Get out of mine. Get out of my inventory. I don't want you. I don't want you. They do not want you here. I want to eat these maggots. Tasty, tasty. Nom, 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 nom. I'm gonna make my way back to sweet home. Sweet home! Ow. All I'm waiting. So, I am... I need dark hearts. I need a dark heart for Snake, and I need a dark heart for the Inquisitor. Once I get a dark heart for the Inquisitor, I can start providing burgers and me and beer and make more money again. But once I provide the thing to Snake, I will get the necklace to give the Miss Charm. I am totally stuck on these hearts. I need these dark hearts, and I have not gotten a single one of them in like the last four hours that I've played this game. It's crazy. But that's just how the world be. And I need more paper. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I want to make more mead. I have a lot of hops. It's great. Crickets taste good. Not at all. Tastes good, but not like chicken. Astro can say one thing. One more thing, he says. I need more paper. That's one thing that I can say. I need more paper. Paper to wash my white bottom. Just kidding. I'm not eating the paper. What? I had a brain fart for a moment there. I am not utilizing this paper as toilet paper. Nor am I putting it in my mouth. I have eaten paper before. I'm a very odd child. Was a very odd child. I'm a very odd man, too. I was an odd child. I was an odd baby who became an odd toddler, who became an odd boy, a toddler. Oh, I said that already. Who became an odd boy, who became an odd young adult, who became an odd man. And I am totally proud of that. Let's make a bunch of packaged meat. I could chop the meat up, or I can sell the meat. I'm actually going to sell the meat, because I want money. I can always get more meat later. Astra says, what if chicken was actually a mimic meat? So it mimics other meats, which is why we think other animals taste like chicken. I'm sure it's got to do a lot of that. I'm not denying this. I, I want to believe this. I really, really do. However, I'm sure it's got to do with some, like, chemical stuff, you know? Maybe there's just, like, something that's more present in chicken... That's present in all other meats. Like, I I don't exactly know. I don't know what that. I, I don't know much about the science of taste. I've I've wanted to get into that. Like guess like like chemical molecular gastronomy sounds really really cool. However, I I, I am not a master. I don't know much about that. Uh, it's a there are books out there on it. Actually, one of the one of the books that I know of that does go other over molecular gastronomy is one called Liquid Intelligence, and I want to say that's by a guy. I think it's David Wunderich. I think he was the chemistry cocktail guy. Maybe? Could be wrong about that. But he... He basically does literally chemistry with his cocktails. And I've always wanted to do something like that. But I don't have the book yet. I could probably get the PDF. But I like to buy the book before I do stuff from it. Or, of course, I search the internet. Which is always a valid option. So long as we give credit where credit is due. I am gonna teleport myself to this... Oh, wait. Is it daytime? Can I sell? Oh, it's daytime. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to talk to the bishop. Oh, my God. Oh, got to talk to the bishop. Also, hey, hey, what's up, Astro? He's going to call on tonight since you got to get up early. Dude, get your rest. Enjoy Mexico. Honestly, have a great time down there. I'm sure it's a wonderful place. I've always wanted to go to Mexico. I want to go to Mexico and bring back tequila. Don't know how that's going to work log logistically, but I want some nice Mexican tequila from Oaxaca and some mezcal as well. I want some stuff that's originally from there. I have a, uh, a, uh, a friend of a friend of mine, who's also a friend of mine. I have a friend of mine who, uh, a while back, got me some Puerto Rican rums. Uh, mojito, fla uh, uh, mint-flavored rum and passion fruit. 
Y'all are awesome out there. I still have it. And I, I haven't used it in a drink recently, but I really should. I don't have a lot of things that call for passion fruit, but I have passion fruit frozen in my fridge in preparation. Um, but not. Um, all right. You don't buy burial, bur burial urns. Unfortunate. But I know sweet home. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to go to the dead horse. I did the wrong thing. I did the wrong place. That's okay. I can go down here. Get more meat. Excuse me. Excuse me. And continue onwards. It's just a money-making kind of day. Today we're making monies. Today we're making money real good. Mm -hmm. I gotta make my money somehow. Oh, yes. Oh, I have these flyers. I can put the flyers down here. Marketing campaign. Marketing campaign. And marketing campaign. And now I can take these bugles and buy more pallets. Uh, I also need flitches for them, which I don't currently have. So, unfortunate. I need more flitches. Gotta bring more flitches. There's always a need for more flitches. You can oh, you never have enough wood. You are standing over here now. Is that significant? To talk to my husband. Are you significant? Nope. Not on this day. Not on Sunday. What about you? Nope. How about you? Nope. I don't know how to talk to the captain. I really don't. I really don't. Here, take this and buy this at an increasingly low price. That's okay. Uh, it gets me 11 silver. I'll take it. It's not a lot, but... Uh, that's what I got. That's what I got. I wonder when I can get into these rooms down here. I can clearly see a cat in there. That seems significant. Also, there's another thing, too. This game has DLC. Like, there was DLC in this game that I don't know whether I... I don't know if I own it, to be honest. But I don't know how to unlock those, to be honest. I wonder if there's anything else in this room. I, I couldn't get into this room previously... Uh, oh, I can store things in the desk. That's cool, I guess. Don't know what the purpose of that is. But I was able to get things from this room. I think it was a recipe. I think I got a recipe for, like, pie or something in this room. Anyway. Um, what else do I have in my inventory? Can I expect to sell any of this stuff? I don't think so. Guess not. Move my way back to the sweet home. Sweet home, Alabama. Where I make some wood belays. Do, 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 do. Sweet home, graveyard keeper. Lord, I'm coming home to you. In any case, I do need to burn a hot number of bodies. I got... Oh. It's only two. That Honestly, that's not as hot a number as I thought it was going to be. Oh, well. Get some more certificates, build some more of these things. It's a classic time to burn some bodies. Always a good time. I need more billets. I will chop down this tree. Bye-bye, Bishop. Oh, you know, it was Sunday, Lord's Day. I should have prayed. I did not pray. I, f I forgot about that. Rather unfortunate. Oh, well. Maybe next Sunday. I don't need a lot of faith right now. I have I have a lot of faith. And come to think of it, there's probably a number of things that I should I could be researching to get myself more points. Um, what I'm saving up for is I really want to increase the level of my graveyard. So I'm saving up to, for cultist for my blue points, but I have a bunch of other points and whatnot that I could spend. Um, uh, honestly, there's not much more I can use it on. I need a lot of blue points. That's, that's for damn sure. But I need more. I think I'll call, I'll call it a night here on the, in the game. Not, not here. I still, I, I'll probably play for like another hour or so. Oh. Ugh. Munch. I can munch my blue flame. I love that. I love that. Ugh. I'm just gonna vibe for a moment. I'm like... I don't know. I'm just gonna vibe for a moment. That's, that's what I'll do. I can do that, right? Usually, I'm a very, very chatty person. I don't like to shut my mouth. I like to talk and talk a lot. But sometimes, few and far between, I'm just like, you know... Let's chill for a moment. It's time. You know what? I'm going to call it. It's time for chill time. It is time to chill. I'm going to give myself two minutes to just chill. I don't think I've ever done that before, aside from break times. Two minutes of chill. Two minutes starting now. Just a chance to breathe, you know? I will say, honestly, 
feels weird not to say anything. X, so upside gonna... down pretzel, and two circle pretzels. Oh my god! Anime pretzels! I mean, I already knew that she was making pretzels, but like, yo, check this out! Check this out! Animate some pretzels. And we have... These are the pretzels animated. We have an X. We have an X. We have an X. This is an X. I don't want to like drop them. We have an X. That one's upside down. I flopped them on, and so if you turn it around, oh, it's an actual pretzel shape. Oh, actual pretzel shape. Actual pretzel shape. And then the way it's it cooks oh my God. is the other way. An X. Oh my God, it's hot. Whoa. Oh, I just took it's them hot. out. And what looks to be something that I will not describe. <laughs> what the hell? Just pull it apart. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Two little nuggets. Two little nuggets. That's what she said. It's like pretzels. Not what I said. She said it, not me. They're delicious, dear. They're mostly whole wheat. They're mostly whole wheat. Did you use a whole wheat flour? I blended it with the regular flour because it calls for regular flour. Tastes really good. They're tossed in whole wheat, so I do half and half. Then I toss them in whole wheat. Come hither. Talk about it. Okay. That's okay. She say no. I'm the one who likes to be behind the camera. Anna likes to be behind the camera too sometimes. However, this is a personal space. Personal space for Anna. And she's like, uh, I don't need that. Was the body we dropped off recently? Oh, the bodies are down here. That's where the body's at. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the... I don't need to scream like that. Actually, one of the things that I've been attempting to do, one of the things that I want to do is I'm trying to increase my, I'm trying to better prepare my microphone setup for me. I have a loud voice. I speak with my diaphragm. I get close to the microphone and I don't currently have things set up to a point where it can properly handle my voice. I noticed that my microphone actually clips out if I, if I scream loud enough. And I've tried to adjust my condensers and my compressors and my limiters and stuff like that. However, and I'm not necessarily an audio engineer, so I'm not saying that like I'm a pro on this or anything, but I think my problem is my microphone was like, it's on the cheaper side. It's not, it's not cheap, cheap. It's not like I paid only 20 bucks for this thing. I paid about, I think 50 for the mic and the mic stand that it came with. And it's an okay mic stand. It works, it works pretty well. I actually have it mounted on, so, this is my monitor. Wait a minute, actually, hold on. Here's a little, a little behind the scenes look at what happens over here. This is me, this is I. This is my monitor. You can see the little clamp back here is actually where my microphone is mounted and my microphone is right here. A little behind the scenes. I like doing stuff like that every once in a while. I think that's pretty cool stuff to do. I feel like I never I don't watch a lot of live streams myself, to be honest. Um, I probably should be more involved in communities and stuff like that. I'm a, I'm a nervous wreck sometimes, to be perfectly honest. Which seems ironic, but alas, I am. I am anxious. Not diagnosed with anxiety, just feeling anxious sometimes. But like, I feel like I never see people like. I mean, I feel like if you've got a, if you've got something that you're really, really proud of, then you should be. I feel, I feel like you should flaunt it. And I'm rather insecure about that. I say, if I, if you're really, really into something that you've got, flaunt it. And I don't tend to flaunt those things myself. But every once in a while, I'm like, hey, here's a little behind the scenes look. If you're interested, you don't have to be. But I'm very happy to like share about it. Somebody want, may come along and be like, hey, I like what you do. I want to learn how you do it. And like, I am more than happy to share. I am totally open to sharing about what I've got set up and how I do it. Not that I did it or anything like that. It's not like there's any form of like crucial success here. However... If y'all can learn something, I'm happy to share. Actually, one of the one of the people that I watch on YouTube, and I also watch them on Twitch. I watch them more on Twitch now than I do on YouTube. The, things have kind of diverged, but they are a cocktail streamer who sometimes does like behind the scenes stuff and whatnot on Twitch. It's actually it's Greg. It's Greg from HTD. He's a good guy. Greg Titian, I believe. Titian, Titian, or whatever. But so the last time I tuned into his stream, he actually he was recording some stuff and. I usually never chat and I, I usually never talk in chats. I, I usually the quiet lurker type, but I asked a question. I was like, yo, I love your setup. What software are you using to do what it is that you do? And he answered me. It was great. I found out he actually gave me so much more information. He was like, I he uses a Kessler camera rig. He uses a particular type of Kessler camera. Kessler is the the the, the camera brand. And he even told me the software. I think it's Kessler Chaos or something like that. It's a proprietary software. And I was like, 
Oh my god, I had to write this down because like the whole setup and stuff is like it's like three thousand dollars for the camera rig. It moves around. You can zoom in on it. It's a great camera. You get the software. That is too expensive for my blood, and I don't have the, the I don't have the means to afford that right now. Not not just for fun. Not just for a hobby. But like, oh, I thought that was so cool. I love getting. I love the technology part of it. I feel like I definitely don't talk about it enough here on stream. But I'm a I'm huge into tech. I love the tech industry. That's why I became. That's why I studied to become an engineer. And that's why. No, no, no. Not even that. I am an engineer. I need to. I need to remember that. I was actually. I love my job. I really like the job that I do. Sometimes it's stressful. Sometimes it's really. really it's, sometimes it's really stressful. But I. There are so many moments where I am so thankful about the position that I'm in right now. I get to do what I really like to do. I like to play around with electronics. I get to do some programming. I get to hang around with great people. And it just, I get to see like technologies blooming. It's really, really cool. For, for context, I, I work for a company called Stell, Stell Life right now. They're a startup company based here in the grand city of Philadelphia. And we're working on medical, uh, we're working on a medical device to bring, or to bring, you know, ease bit, like feasibility and easeability to the people who may have a hard time with technology. We're bridging that technology gap, which is a terrible thing in these world. Wouldn't it be crazy? Wouldn't it be, wouldn't you like to know if your grandma is low on oxygen? Like, and it, wouldn't you want, want their, want their doctor to know, uh, to, when they're being monitored and stuff like that, even if they have to be in their home? I'd want to know. Sometimes a doctor visit every day, every week, is just not enough. Sometimes paying to be in the hospital is just too much. The insurance doesn't cover it. And things like this, especially for people who don't necessarily know their way around technology, it's, it's really cool to be able to work on something like this. It's awesome. And I love it. And just, and the reason why I go on this is just like, the other day, as I was talking with my boss, honestly, Full disclosure here, great guy, great role model, love that guy. We had a great talk the other day, went out for a walk, and one of the things that like, I, I suffer, despite the fact of what it may seem, I suffer from a little bit of a lack of self-confidence sometimes, and not all the time am I like really, really confident in, this, in the words that come out of my mouth. And so one of the things that I feel like I've grown to like kind of learn into and appreciate it is like, I was reassured that like, you know, technically speaking, of what I do, I'm like my local expert. Like there are enough, there are enough niche things that I do in my current position where I could, I could call myself an expert on the matter because I don't know anybody personally. I don't know anybody in my sphere that knows how to do what I do specifically. And that's kind of cool. It's kind of really, really cool to be able to have like this niche knowledge that you feel that isn't like what you think the people around you are able to do or know how to do it's really really cool and that makes me feel like i just i feel like i feel like i want to share it i feel like i want to share things like that and it's super duper cool and i wish like i don't do a lot of science i actually i've never done a science and technology screen but like one day i feel like i love to like play around with electronics do a little project just take a couple hours just to like work on something or maybe do a project together with the folks of the internet i feel like that would be really really cool but i don't do that right now I just don't have a good enough project, but my my biggest problem is a lack of motivation. It's a lack of just that go get them, start something, do anything. And time and time and time and time again, everybody who I see on the internet who does projects of any kind, who is giving advice to other people who want to do projects is just do it. Just just whatever it is. It doesn't have to be something that you think is good. Just do it. Just do it. Literally though, I was um I was browsing through the TikTok feed the other day and somebody was just like, "Hey you, person out there who wants to work on that project, this, just go for it." And he was saying like the best way to gain experience in something is just just do it. Honestly, you don't in my opinion, from what I've found at least so far, you don't know what it is that you need to know until you realize you want to make it happen and don't know how to do it. Like, I feel like there were so many instances where like, I'll be, I'll be programming something or I'll be, I'll be trying to put something together. And I'm like, wow, I didn't know that I needed to know how to do this. Like, um, the other day uh, I'm working on, I started another, uh, project with a buddy of mine and we're trying to work on a video game and it's a text-based thing for now. I'm trying to work on a text-based demo. Um, and I didn't know that I needed to know how to deal with keyboard shortcuts. Like... I know how a keyboard works. I know that I can press A, B, C, D, E, F, G, QWERTY, 
across my keyboard. However, there are keyboard shortcuts that make the computer do a certain thing. For example, backspace. Backspace a lot. Tab. Control backspace. All that other stuff. All these other, like, shortcuts that you know how to do that if I'm, if I'm running my own text interface, I need to know how to deal with that stuff. Otherwise, it breaks the game. I, I coded up I coded up this demo the other day where all you do is it's like the Discord dice parser. You just type in one D8 and it rolls a D8 for you and it'll be like, oh, congrats, you got a seven. Great, awesome. One D8, I got a two. Awesome. I roll three D8, I get seven, four, two. Great, awesome. That's all it does. It uses Python's uh, uh, dice parsing library, which I have a strange feeling is the same, thing, same library that the Discord bot dice parser uses. I don't know. But so... That's all I did. I just had a little thing that makes a makes text. You just it's just a dice parser. That's all it does right now. But then I realized if I click backspace enough, I delete my entire interface. If I click control backspace or I do all this other thing, I put the cursor upward and whatnot, I could change the lines that I already put up there. And I was like, oh, that's unintentional. I I don't mean to do that. And so I had to figure out how to deal with that. I had to learn I had to learn and teach myself how to look out for those particular calls. And to be able to do things like that. And I just noticed I have like no seeds left. Oh my god. I just went on a total rant here while I was gardening and stuff. Wow, I am completely out of like seeds and stuff. I am completely running low on seeds. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, thank you, dearest. Wow. All right. I thought another one was coming. Excuse me. I still feel that. Wow. Um, mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, can I chip anything out? Mm, no, not yet. I need more flitches. I need to build more flitches so I can go back to my little humble home over there and um, my little selling area. Uh, actually, have there been has there been another body recently? I don't think there's been another body recently. Is there a body? Body going to be the best? No, there's no body. No body yet. No body to call my own. Oh, dearie, dearest thing. That's why I do. Just kidding. I have, luckily, ooh, a body. Lucky for me, I have somebody to call my own. Or rather, rather, not my own. But I like her, and I think she's cool. And her name is Anna, and she's the love of my life, and I love her very much. And she's not standing right behind me. I could have sworn she was. That would have been pretty cute, honestly. Keep your name out my mouth. Out <laughs> Keep... <laughs> Keep my fiance's name out your effing mouth! Oh my god, did anybody watch the- was it the Oscars over the weekend? I didn't actually watch the Oscars, but I saw what happened. It's very funny. One of my, um, one of my co-workers' wives was like, re is like really, really into like Will Smith. Uh, for context, at the Oscars, or whatever the event was, Chris Rock made a joke about Will Smith's wife ba because of her hair. I believe she has a condition that causes her to need to wear it that way. And Will Smith straight up went to this guy, went up to Chris Rock and slapped him on stage really hard across the face. And Chris Rock was like, Will Smith just slapped me. And Will Smith goes back to his seat. He's just like, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. Keep it in my mouth. It was like it was crazy. I did not watch it. I was not there for it. However, I saw obviously what happened on the, what the how the internet reacted after the fact. I was like, wow. Uh, but one of my uh, one of my coworkers, his wife is like really really into uh, a really like a big 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 fan of Will Smith, and apparently has been like writing papers about him uh, since like since like when they were young uh, they were younger, and I uh, hmm. that's a hit to the reputation if I ever saw it. But in any case, I like Alex Will Smith's movie. I was just, <laughs> Anna and I have been watching through the Tangled series on Disney Plus. And so in the suggested category was the new Aladdin movie starring Will Smith as the genie. And I was just like, keep my Jasmine's mane out of your effing mouth. Keep my diamond in the rough's name out of your mouth. Slap, 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 slap. It was a joy. I genuinely like that movie. I think, I think, I like the new Aladdin movie. Was it as good as the original? I don't know. I don't care. I watched the movie because of, so, to see how it stands on its own. And you know what? I enjoyed it. I had a good time. So I'm into that. All right, back to what I was trying to do. What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to make money. 
gotta make money. Honestly, I actually had a wasted opportunity on Sunday, Sunday, Purple Day, Purple Day with the Sun, because uh, I have a prayer that I say to get people to give me more money. And it works, and I get more money, and it is good. Um, all right, let's go back to Sweet. Let me let me think. Uh, oh, you know what I can do? I can harvest my um. Oh, I need flitches. I need some more flitches. I cut down a tree. Didn't I cut down a tree? Did I not? I don't know if I cut down a tree. Hello, how have folks been? Hello, Lorelai. How are you? Things have been good. Probably since a couple weeks ago, I had a really really stressed time at work. It was very very stressful. It has been very pleasant this week so far. I am, yet again, like, fully happy to be in the position I'm in. But, uh, things change. It's a, it's startup life. Things change. Fires pop up. It's crazy. A little, a little, a little crazy sometimes. But honestly, kind of like the challenge. I love the challenge. Like, looking back on it, I'm like, wow, that was hectic. But, I learned a lot from it. And I feel like I'm a stronger person now than I was previously because of it. And honestly, personal growth. That's a positive. That's a positive if I've ever seen it. I appreciate that. I'm gonna try to get myself some more wood. Woody woody gumdrops, indeed. Ah, Lorelai is good. Lorelai got her first job. You're a cookie baker. Yo, that is so cool. Uh, her mom and her have been watching Dragon Prince, so that's also been fun too. Is Dragon Prince an anime? Anna, do you know what Dragon Prince is? Oh, she's watching her own anime. She can't hear me right now. That's okay. Interesting, that sounds fun. I'm curious about what Dragon Prince is about, to be honest. I feel like I've, I've definitely heard of Dragon Prince, but to be honest, I don't I don't know much about it. But it rings a bell. It definitely does ring a bell to me. Uh, excuse me. I'm eating some. Eating some pretzels that just that Anna just made. Delightful. Now I'm going to wait. Mm. Talking about my mouthful. Excuse me. Now, I'm going to make my way to the dead horse again. I have some burial certificates. Um, Capitan? Capitan? Nope. Bad luck today. There we go. And now I head down um, to see if I can build some more flitches. Or I build, uh, build some more boxes so I can ship off more goods in a week. <laughs> money, money. Two silver crates. So silver crates are sold at a rate of 10 silver. 7, 5, 75 copper, and gold crates are 16 silver and 50 copper. And then boxes of goods in general are sent at 15 per. Um, and that's all I can sell. That's, honestly, this is probably the best, the best way to get money. It's to sell all these goods and stuff. I just don't have, like, I don't have enough for it. I think what I gotta do, gotta spend money to make money. I think what I should do is I should specialize on a crop. I think what I should specialize in is gold goods. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get as many gold onion seeds as possible. And that's going to be my crop. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to specialize on cabbage and gold onions. Because cabbage and gold onions can both be used to make burgers. And burgers allow for me to create nummy nummy dishes. All right? Just making sure of that. Uh, burgies. Burgies. Oh, no. I don't need lettuce for that. I just need onions. I just need good onions. And bread. Bread. Appreciate the breads. But I can also sell the onions as well. Actually, maybe... I should do Gold Star Pumpkins. Actually, you know, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see... I'm gonna see what the... I'm gonna see what the farmer sells. I'm... I'm going to optimize. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna optimize for things that sell for a lot. Gold wine. Gold hops. For gold beer. Gold onions. Gold things. It's more money over time. And I feel like that's gonna be the way... To make money and i really need to optimize on that because I i'm gonna be honest i've spent like the past two streams attempting to get up to that level and basically making absolutely no progress at all so it's time to figure out it's time to learn it's time to figure out what we've been doing wrong see if we can optimize on this it's all about using your brain if you want to you don't have to if using your to, to, to using your brain is too much let me do the work i got you got you dark heart I got a dark heart! Oh, yes! Oh my god, this is the first one I've gotten. It's been like hours. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I am removing that from your body post haste. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. I still need another one, though. I still need more. I still need more, however. I will research it. 
I will research it. Huzzah! Huzzah indeed! Oh my goodness. This is wonderful. This is... This is awesome. Oh, blue points. Give me those blue points. Is it enough? Am I a cultist now? Oh my god. I will now be a cultist. Wait. Wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! I'm a cultist now. Hell yeah! I am officially a cultist now! This is great. It's beautiful. <laughs> anyway. Going back to going back to Dragon Prince, it has Avatar credentials. So unless Canadian CGI cartoons count now, unless CGI cartoons count now, two princes find out the egg of the King of Dragons. Only egg was stolen by the Roland the royal mage on the same night. Not dark elves attempt to assassinate their dad slash stepdad, the king, for him killing said Dragon King. Princes decide to try and stop the cycle of violence by bringing the egg back home to its mama. Aww. That sounds nice. That sounds like a heart uh, heartwarming story, and I'm sure it's all about the friends we made along the way. Unless the dra I wonder if the dragon egg hatches. I'm sure that's probably a plot point. Spoilers, maybe. Now they got this dark heart. Um, let's see. Upward facing day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the dark heart to the Inquisitor first. Because if I give the dark heart to the Inquisitor first, I will be able to sell my gold burgers and gold beer for money. And I need more money right now. So, uh, actually what I will do is, I really want to get that done. So I... Oh, hey, Snake. Oh, I missed you anyway, so I can't... I wouldn't be able to give it to you. Oh, actually, and now that I'm a cultist now, what else can I buy? I'm going to try to max out all my... Uh, I got to max out my, my trees. Um, actually, this would be great for the graveyard. I'm going to work on this stuff next because... I will be able to make my graveyard better by researching this stuff. Uh, but apparently not so much. Uh, what else can I do? Anything? 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 No, nah, not, not really. I need more blue points. Hm. Need more blue points. Can a preacher be a cultist? Yes. I, I'm inclined to agree. I think they could. Preacher could totally be a cultist. Oh, my goodness, a body. I should check that first. It might be... Dude. Dude. It would be so awesome if this next body also has a dark heart. That would be probably the most frustrating thing to be uh, to be honest. To be perfectly honest, uh, 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 nah, it isn't. Oh, Lorelai says, "Mom also says hi." Shame that Animaniacs has been canceled. I know, right? Oh my goodness, Anna and I were planning on doing Hikaru and Kaoru from the Oron High School Hoax Club. We were, we were going to compete with it too. We were we were planning our skit and everything and. I guess we'll have to figure something else out. I think we're planning on doing that at DerpyCon in place of that. My fiance and I go to conventions. For those of you who don't know, we cosplay sometimes. It's it's a joy. But my god, yeah, Anime Next was canceled. I cannot believe that. We go to Anime Next. My my friend group and I, my family and I, my friend group and I will go to Anime Next every single year. And it hasn't been a thing for now three years in a row. I find that insane. It's crazy. Apparently this year was because of like vendor complications or uh, with a venue. Venue complications, I think. It's unfortunate. Honestly, Anime Next has, I guess up to this point, not had a very good run with the uh, Atlantic City Convention Center. Shame on who? I don't know. Also, also, we had a birthday in the crowd recently. I, ha I have to come out and say it. We had a birthday in the crowd recently. The other day, it was... Lorelai's mom's birthday, and although she is not on here, I will not give any personal information or anything like that. I don't want to dox anybody, but she had a birthday, and we appreciate that. Happy birthday to you. You're an excellent, you are a one, you all are so much, such wonderful friends of mine. Family friends, by the way. Personal friends. <coughs> Happy birthday. I think Anne and I tried to leave a message. It was, it was, always, I, I love being able to give, like, birthday messages and whatnot. It's a beautiful, beautiful day when people have days of birth. I am going to... Meditate. I'm gonna meditate until the morning so I can talk to the Inquisitor and finally make some progress. I am officially a cultist now. I I love this. Or rather, I have the cultist perk. This is great. Finally a dark heart. Finally a cultist. Ugh, this is great. This is wonderful. This is, this is excellent. What have y'all done with your day so far? Have you been a cultist? Were you a cultist today? I wonder. I wonder. Duh! Oh, indeed. Anyway, it's daytime now. Time to wake myself up. Oh, time to go make my way over to Witch Hill. Talk to this Inquisitor. The Inquisitor. Inquisitor time.
and then hopefully i hope that this is the last step for me to be able to i, I think giving them giving him the organ is going to increase my friendship by 10 points giving him all the organs i think is going to reach it to five points i think that'll be the first character that i max out and i have to max out six of them in order to complete this game slow and steady progress we're getting there slow and steady progress i think i need to do the inquisitor the bishop the merchant miss charm the astrologer and there might be one other and i don't exactly remember anyway hi inquisitor the piece of dark evidence the dark heart oh that's only five all right let's see Duh, it's 10 p.m do you know where your cultist is right here baby all right good we've gathered enough evidence i will show these cursed organs to the king oh nice we'll tear the tower to pieces looking for heretics oh is that it all right i guess that's it there can i can i put down burgers and stuff now right i was honestly hoping that i would get something more out of this alas does that mean that i can go back into the town now Ooh, a body do i have anything worth selling in my inventory I'll go talk to the farmer. I got some beets and stuff on me. I guess it makes sense. Truly, though, it sure would suck if those dark bits could have gone bad before you found them all. Dude. Dude. I don't even want to imagine. Could you imagine if organs go bad? That'd be so, that'd be so sad. In which case, I guess I'd have to... Yeah, because it's all based off of chance anyway. That would really, really suck. Ugh. Don't like that. Certainly don't like that. Here, buy my goods. Buy, buy my, buy my goods. It's not a lot, but it's honest work. Honestly, selling these crops and stuff ain't so bad because their value doesn't really change that much um, when you sell them all. So I think what I should do is I should I should grow golden onions, golden pumpkins, and cabbages. And I think those will be good things to sell. Because I can package up the golden pumpkins. I can make the golden onions, a gold star, or a particular gold star onions into um, into burgers. And I can sell those burgers. Oh, I don't need to be here. Uh, what was I coming over here for? Uh, oh, I was going to talk to the miller. Jeez, I hope the miller didn't go to bed. I think I might have missed the miller for the day. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Oh. There goes my my donkey, who sold the body. Did you go to bed already, Miller? No, you did not. Excellent. I get so tired without any work to do. Can I sell you grain? I can sell you grain. Can I sell you mi uh, Actually, can I tell sell you? I want to see if I can sell you flour. Can I sell you flour? I can't sell you flour. I can sell you flour for more than I can sell you wheat. However. The more flour that I sell you, the less money it gets, so it's actually a good idea to have a combination of both. Excellent! That's some money. Like that. Like that. Like that indeed. Do I... How do I increase my friendship with you? Do I have to buy stuff from you? I don't really want to. 80. Oh my goodness. Don't know how I got that. Oh, what is up this way? There's a path out the top. You would think that that means that there's something important here. I don't think so. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go out here and get a couple of bees. A couple of bee stuff. I know that there are some beehives out here. I can use some more honey for mead, honestly. Oh, I got stung, apparently. Oh, by a bee. Nice. There's a um, iron deposit here. That's good. That's good. Hey, how you doing, pal? Trade? Anything for you? I can buy your stone. I don't know. I... Maybe this will help me. No, actually, I'm trying to get money right now, not lose it. So, I'm not gonna do that, actually. Can I cut this tree down? That's a lot of- that's a, this is gonna be a lot of wood. Wow, that was a lot of wood. Excellent. Well, hopefully I bring that all back to my home sometime. Bees. Bees, bees, bees. I love them bees so much. Bees, bees, bees. I love them bees. I gotta, I gotta love them bees. I'm gonna take this wood back home with me. I got time. I got everything. I got time for days. Time for days. 
Hopefully I can move this log in a straight line. Log in a straight line? Log in a straight line? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Log it up. Mm, log it up. Log it up. Log it up. straight line. Oh, shit. This is gonna take a log time. Get it? Log time. It's a pun. I'll show myself out. Just kidding. I won't. There's nowhere to go. This is my home. That's another thing that's kind of cool about... Honestly, I feel like if I had my way, I would work from home. I think I just like, you know, my desk is... My desk has been optimized for workage. I, I, know how, I know how my desk should be. I've optimized it so I can do work properly, whether it be homework or work work or stream work or hobby work or whatever. Technically, stream work and hobby work are the same thing. It's a fun time. I enjoy it. But like, it'd be cool if I could work from home. And I feel like I do have opportunities to do so, but I don't want to take advantage of it. So I usually, I usually don't. I hold myself back. But I like, honestly, I love go. I, I like going into the office. So I have absolutely no, like, there's a benefit to staying home, but there's also a benefit to going in. And honestly, it feels just about the same if I had to plot it on some sort of numerical axis. So whatever works best. And I think I'm more, I think I'm more helpful when I'm in the office. So I would prefer to be there. Also, there's more social activity. I like that. I appreciate that. But honestly, if I could work from home, if that were like the next one, the next one would be cool. To, the next job, next job probably be great from work from home. This certainly won't be my last. Or at least I don't think it will. If it is, then damn, <laughs> nice. I lucked out. But uh, I don't know. Where was I keeping bees? Was I keeping bees down here? I have butterflies. I have these maggots, which I'm going to take and then consume because I can eat those. Uh, it's astrology day. I can eat these mushrooms. Yum yum. Oh, I got a body. That's what I had. I definitely had a body. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Eh. You're okay. You're an okay body. I appreciate you, body. I'm okay with that. Flesh. Of flesh and blood, indeed. Get more flesh. Flesh is good. Flesh block. We eat those. <laughs> flesh block. We eat those. Oh, yeah, now that I'm a cultist, I can see what the effect of removing these things are. Which is a good thing. So what I'm going to try to do... This body really ain't so good. What I'm going to do is the next set of bodies and whatnot, because there are some good bodies, I am now going to bin, begin attempting to crucially index on how to get a body to be as good as possible. Because that's that's what becomes important in order to get my graveyard up to... Uh, I need to get it up to 300 reputation points, which is it's pretty hefty. It's a, very, it's a very hefty requirement, but I know I can make it. And now that, now that I'm a cultist, it'll be a lot easier. And that should help me with... That'll help me with the bishop. I need to do that because the bishop require the bishop will the bishop storyline will give me a crucial item for completing for completing the game. And my goal is to complete this entire playthrough. I'm already apparently I look back. This is my 20th episode of Graveyard Keeper. I didn't realize I could make it this far with that thing. To be honest, I've watched Let's Plays before. I have literally sat there for hours at a time watching a particular person play a game for 50-something episodes, 60-something episodes. I used to be like... The one that I can think of most vividly is the Yogg's Cast. I used to watch the Yogg's Cast play uh, Minecraft. Hours, tons of episodes on their show called... I think their show was Shadow of Israfel, which was like this white creeper guy or whatever. It was like a it was like a story thing. And I watched... I guess you couldn't... Even, could you even call it a Let's Play? It wasn't really a Let's Play, I guess, because you weren't like Let's Playing Minecraft. It was like a story within Minecraft. I watched tons of that. My brother Julian and I loved watching that when we were younger. I don't think it ever continued. I want to say it just kind of cut. I don't know if it ever continued. And honestly, I probably wouldn't be into it as, as much now as I was previously. But like, hours and hours and hours. And honestly, I thought to myself, like, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a Let's Player per se. I mean, it, because like, I don't usually go through games all the way. However, I think this will be the first, like, I, I honestly, I, I'm actually curious. At this point, I don't know what I'm going to finish first. Hollow Knight? Which I plan on doing a full playthrough of, at least with the, the, the regular stuff. Maybe not all the DLC and stuff, but at least get to the final, final boss. Or this game. I don't know what's going to finish first. I honestly don't know. 
I'm curious to see how it goes, though. I'm very, very curious. Was it like a, like a roleplay or a machinima type thing? It was like a roleplay type thing. We had our two main characters, our two our two Yogscastians, Simon and Lewis, who were playing Minecraft as their characters. Um, and they would just like, it was just like a story. I guess it was kind of, it was roleplay. It was roleplay. I think roleplay was probably the thing. They made their own story and played different characters in this Minecraft world that they had. And it was kind of, it was kind of cool. And I feel like that to me at the time was probably the equivalent of like Dream and whatnot nowadays with like their Minecraft. I mean, I don't know if they do like roleplay type things, but I think Dream is really popular for their Minecraft stuff. Ranbu? I'm not as familiar with, but I think they do Minecraft as well. Maybe I could be totally wrong on that. And if I am, oh, strike me down. But I think, you know, that stuff has always been like really, really cool. Also, they are uh, the Yogscast channel specifically. I don't remember their name. Yo, Mixpad, how's it going? Please consider checking out Mixpad. Thank you for rating. Hello, everybody. I'm playing a game called Graveyard Keeper. How is it? Yolando says, hello. I say, hello back. How is everybody? I hope you're great. Oh, Yolando steered this crazy train? I'm going off the rails on a crazy train. I got a kazoo over the weekend, and I am using it, it excessively. Thank you all for giving me the opportunity to be able to give myself an excuse to use that kazoo once more. I love it. It's great. I went to over the weekend. I, I honestly thought, I think I mentioned last week that I was planning on streaming over the weekend because I thought it was going to be a chill weekend and nothing was going on. I was wrong. I was completely incorrect. I completely forgot that my weekend was completely booked with things to do. One of those things to do was going to a concert. And I went to a concert over the weekend. I saw a band uh, by the, a band by the name of Cave Town, which was lovely. Uh, in order of appearance was uh, an artist by the name of Addison Grace. He had really great music. Tessa Violet, she had really great music. And then Cave Town. And it was it was really cool. Like a like a British red-haired dude who does uh I think they've been they've been making music for a really, really long time now. I'm not super familiar with the artist, but it was pleasant. And they were selling kazoos for five dollars. This is my oh, let me. This is my kazoo. It says Cave Town on it. That's cute and makes funny sounds. And Crazy Train happened to be the thing that was most on my mind when I remembered that I had a kazoo. So thank you for giving me the opportunity. I very much appreciate any excuse to do so. I... What was I doing? I've forgotten. I get so... I don't even remember what I was talking about. That's okay. I'm just gonna start doing stuff again. I usually... I usually forget. But I know... I was planting things. I was harvesting things. Ah, yes. The harvest is upon us. That's what's going on here. I am going to optimize my garden. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to grow as many things as possible. I want to grow cabbages. And I want to grow gold star onions and gold star pumpkins. If I can. I have some silver star pumpkins. That's fine. But it could be better. Life's good. But it could be better. So they say. And I agree. Life's good. But it could always be better. My life could always be better than it is currently. We're always trying to improve ourselves here. At Camera with an X Industries, aka with an X Industries, we pride ourselves on premium quality content and self betterment. Are you a better person today than you were yesterday? Great. Are you not? That's okay. Try again next time. You have the rest of your life, which could be up until now, if you just died. Self improvement is a lifelong conquest. Self improvement is a, a lifelong conquest. Absolutely. And that was very profound. Anthony gave me, like, half the quote, and I always forget the ending half. Oh, there's another part of that quote? No, it was, like, self-improvement is something about lifelong stuff. And I was like, oh, lifelong stuff. I feel like self-improvement is a self-long commitment. I feel like commitment is a good word here. I just know he said, uh, like, they always say lifelong, and I just forget what comes before that. Lifelong something or other. Self-improvement is a lifelong... I like that one. Naval mm, Orange. Well, because the sound that I was about to make with my tongue was an N, and I was trying to find an N word to use. I chose navel orange. Nativity, naive. Nativity? Yeah, but like, eh, I guess I could have used naivety. Naivety's a good one. 
Me and my naivety. Or naive naivete. Naivete? Naivety? Eh. I don't know. I'm young. I'm naive. I smile when I go into work. Maybe that'll be beaten out of me one day. I don't know. Conquest feels like violently self-improves. <laughs> I love that idea. I am a better person today than I was yesterday. Violently. Finally! <laughs> Violently, violently, says Anna. Alright, I gotta go to bed. Anna's going to bed? Yeah. Peace out, baby cakes. I will see you when I see you. My... I will probably be going to bed soon, too, actually. What I plan on doing is I am going to... What I will do is I am going to... Spin my way towards next week. There we go. Snaps. Snap, snap, snaps. We did it. We're back, everybody. Ugh. I don't know what happens sometimes, honestly. I think... Are we still there? I don't know. Everything seems frozen. I can't really tell. Are we back? I think we're back. My, um... I think OBS has glitched a little bit. To be honest. And I say that because... It still says that it's attempting to reconnect. So I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. It seems like we're back. So I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna... We're gonna keep going. I see a bitrate. So I'm inclined to think that we're okay. So we shall continue. We shall continue. Things happen every once in a while. I am not particularly pleased with my internet thing. I can see you! I can see you too! Which is great. This is a great thing. I'd love to see that. Alright. Alright. Can we hear anything though? Oh, I hope... I hope we can hear things. Let me double check this. Let me double check that. I have the ability to check this on my end, but I don't... Uh, I don't usually do so. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna test this myself. Oh. Oh, I hate it when things like this happen. But alas, sometimes we just can't. And sweet. Looks like we're good. Oh, thank goodness. Oh! So sorry. Ladies and gentlemen and those who fall in between or beyond. I blame Comcast. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Honestly, my big thing is I was under the impression that a... That I didn't have uh, fiber optic cables in my area for my internet connection. So, alas... I probably, one of the things that I'm going to try to start doing at some point is I want to record these streams at the same time as streaming them so that the VOD that comes out afterwards doesn't have any of these connection blips because it happens every so often. Really nothing much I can do about it now. It's just stupid router. Um, but it's a little bit of an overload on my computer. I think, I think I have some optimizations I need to make to my setup. I think that means, I think I need some more RAM. I think that'll help me out. But uh, that's something for me to worry about. Don't worry about it. Hopefully... Hopefully it wasn't too much of an interruption. For that, I apologize on behalf of my internet service provider. And that's as all as I'll say about that. I'll leave it at that. I have about half a week until Upward Facing Day, which is the day that I think I will talk to the Inquisitor again. What I'm going to try to do is... He went to the town. I'm going to try to see if I can go to the town yet. I don't think I can. But I'm going to give it a sh I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try to see if I can actually go into the town. And not this town. Uh, the city or whatever. I feel like I need to... I, I feel like there's definitely more that I need to do. However, definitely worth giving it a shot, right? Hey, astrologer. What's up, buddy? Actually, where do you live? Where do you live? I don't know where you live, buddy. Take me to your home. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll just follow you. Oh, do you live in the pen in the town? Oh. You can apparently walk through bridges. That's great. I need a town pass. Oh. Oh. Didn't I have a town pass already? Thought I did. Guess I was wrong about that. Oh, well. Time for sleepy time. Sleepy time. Wake up in the morning. Make some money at the church. It'll be great. It'll be wonderful. It'll be ecstatic. Ecstatic indeed. Um. Hmm. Indeed. I am so refreshed. No, you're refreshed. I'm refreshed. You're fresh. We're all refreshed, refreshed, fresh. Um. Is there anything I haven't... I haven't studied this. I'm going to put this in my inventory. I'm going to do some studying. That's what I'll do. Uh, you've been studied. There. Keeper's key. I don't know what that's used for anymore. I don't think I can use that for anything anymore. Hmm. I wonder. Is there anything else that I haven't yet researched? 
that I may have. I'm always trying to look. I don't know. Anything in here? Oh, I have all my wine in here. Oh, I gotta make sure I, I sell all that. I have a lot of wine. Wow, I have a lot of wine. Did not realize I had that much. Also, I haven't harvested my grapes recently. I should go up there and harvest those because I know that will give me a pretty penny too. Anything not researched? Anything, anything, anything? Nah, I think we're pretty much good there. I haven't re- I didn't re I really did not realize that I haven't researched this thing. That's probably not a lot though, right? Maybe? I don't know. Excellent. Oh, actually, that was a lot more than I thought it would be. I can definitely get another technology with that. How about something to make my graveyard look good? Oh, stone prayer station requires more. Huh, I can't make sculptures yet. Interesting. Maybe I need to get that from... Probably need to get that from the bishop. Probably. Random text generator? Nah, I don't need that. Printed Complex printing press. Printing press 2? What else can I get? What else can I possibly get? That's convenient. What else can I get next? Befriend, that's cool. Martial skills, press for protection, sword master, you know how to use your blade. That's fine. But, secret of extent of gold, more precious metals, fine woodworking, feels like it's important. Although I don't exactly know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what should come next, to be honest. I am unsure. Unsure indeed. Um... What was it down here for? Oh, it's prayer day. That's what I was doing. I'm just going up. I'm going to go up and I'm going to do a prayer. Let the world know how beautiful things are. I technically need some candles or incense lit in order to have a uh, truly successful outcome. And I can do that. Um, here, put some candles there. Or incense. Here, put some incense there. I need a total of 50 for a totally successful prayer. So I let a little bit of incense do some do some stuff. It's a gold star one too, so it's it's quality. That's a quality prayer right there, if I ever saw it. Our church is great, as it always is. Nice! Nice! Nice, 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 nice. That was good. Very, very good. Well, now that I have some more... How much money did I get this time? Six. I guess eight total. That's good. So, in the course of about an hour and a half that I've been playing this game, I have gained about 80 silver coins. I need 12 gold ones. Slowly but surely. I'm making some more progress. Ever so slightly. Hey, buddy. Oh, I need 200. Oh, I only need 200. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Can I sell things to you? Of course not. What would I buy from you anyway? I could buy gold star prayers from you. I just just make them myself. <laughs> I think I can only buy candles. I don't know if I can craft candles yet. Do I know how to craft candles? Oh, wait, I do. I definitely know how to craft candles. Yeah, they're the candles. And I guess there's more candles? Candelaba 3. Electric beagley. What is the conversion rate? Uh, it's 100. I think it's a uh, hundred bronze per silver, a hundred silver for gold. It's a, uh, it's steep. It is a steep one indeed. Do you have any new bodies in here? Yeah, look at that. Do you have a dark heart? Be really cool if you do. Cause if you do, I can give it to Snake. Nah, that's okay. So let's see. If I remove these intestine, let's try to make this body a good one it adds to evil but also adds to that stuff it doesn't subtract what subtracts evil oh no 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 the the intestines add them so if i remove it that means it removes the bad and removes the good too yeah that is exactly how that works oh i see i see i see i see all right well that's that's a wash. That's no good. Don't like that. That's okay. Back to my inventory for more important things. I don't need this. I will destroy it. I have flitches. That's fine. I have some wheat. I can sell that. These beets and cabbages. I can sell those too. No, no, no. Don't follow me. Ugh, you followed me. 
E that's okay. Just put it put it over here on the shelf. It'd be really cool if I could sell those dark organs, because I feel like somebody's gotta be interested in them. Maybe I can sell them the snake after I help him complete the dark ritual. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, I will make my way toward Actually, how much space do I have in my No, I will I'm gonna make my way toward the I don't need these burial urns right now. I don't I don't think I can do anything with them, so I'm just gonna trash them. I'm gonna make my way to the miller and the farmer. Gonna sell my goods, gonna sell my vegetables, gonna sell my miller. Gonna sell my wheat. I have some wheat. And then um then I'll round back. I'll harvest some grapes and some hops. These are good. And, uh, yeah. And then hopefully by that point, it'll be the time to talk to the Inquisitor again after he's taken his trip to the city. This game does that to you. It's like, oh, you completed this thing. It doesn't tell you what to do, when really what you're supposed to do is go back and talk to them next time. All right, sell all these beets. Sell all these cabbages. Not going to sell all the carrots, but I will sell a couple of them. There we go. And now, I will go to the miller to get some flour, sell some flour, sell some sell some wheat, get some more money. Almost a, well, I'm almost a five gold. Oh, so close. I need to optimize. That's, that's what I'm attempting to do. I'm going to optimize on how I can better make money. And that means making sure that I fill up my farms with as much as I need from it. Oh, there's a little mole up there. I just noticed there's a mole that comes out of that hole up there. Mole in the hole? Mole in the hole? Mole in the hole. Now, I'll make my way back downward. This is a grave here, right? Wooden cross and a body. I feel like this is important. You know, I'm gonna remove the body from here. Exhume. Oh, I need an exhumation permission. That body seems important. How it's important, I, I don't... I don't know, honestly. I'm gonna get myself an exhumation permission, or I'm gonna try to remember. I probably won't, honestly. Eventually. Because, like, I don't usually dig up the bodies of the dead. But when I do, stuff happens. Sometimes. Anyway, bunch of wine. A bunch of grape. A uh, bunch of hops. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff, indeed. And then I'll make wine. And then Merchant Day will come up uh, in two days oh it spins the other direction whoops ah eh, whatever i'll have my wine ready for the next time do, 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 do. and i have i keep forgetting i get a bunch of grapes in here oh my goodness crop waste put that in there grape seed put that in there get the grapes oh all the grapes all the great grapes of old oh my goodness gracious i have so much in my inventory what do i need i don't need dowels i don't need dowels uh grape seed Put it in there. It is. It is wonderful. Grape seed, hop seed. Put some fertilizer. Put the fertilizer. Plant the seed. Get the fertilizer. Plant the seed. Put some fertilizer. Plant the seed. Put the fertilizer. Oh, not fertilizer. Uh, how about just peat? Peat's fine too. Peat. That's fine. Plant the seed. Excellent. Uh, no more fertilizer. Do that. Plant the seed. I think we'll be good. I have a lot of gold star wine, uh, stuff right now, so I think that'll probably be okay. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. It might need to be better. I also have some other... I have some other fertilizer, too, that I could be using. Like this one. The Silver Star. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't know exactly what that does, to be honest. In any case, uh, you could be doing grapes. You could be. Oh, you know what? Oh, here. There we go. Yeah, honestly, just keep making those things. I will give you more materials. Just keep on going. Keep on going, my friend. Uh, here, use this quality fertilizer here, and then that. And then I have more grape seeds, so I'll just put them away. It's a lot of grape seed. Oh, I already collected them, apparently. That's wonderful. Now I'll make my way back to the sweet home, put some stuff in the basement. It's gonna crush up some stuff, get some grape juice. Grape juice. Love grape juice. Wow, I have a lot of that. That's incredible. That is an incredible amount of grape juice. Shame that I can only do it one at a time, honestly. It'd be very convenient if I didn't have to, like, manually do the pile of grape- the pail of grape juice every single time. Goodness gracious. 
And apparently there's a perk that I can do to get even better at this. What is it? Uh, it is industriousness. Any work develops you, even the work of evil. You've accepted your dark side, and it's enabled you to craft more effectively. Nice. I don't know how to do that one. I don't know how to get that perk. I'm sure there's something that the game has yet to instruct me on how to do that will help me with that. But I don't know yet. I don't know. Maybe one day. The game is not very good at instructing me to do things, but alas. Alas, 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 indeed. Ah, that was a lot of pails. Still a lot of pails. It can be a lot of wine. I need more fermentation barrels. My god. Wow. Seriously, though. That's a lot of wine. I've never seen more wine like that in my life. Well, I mean, I basically own a vineyard now. Kind of how that works. I wonder if I can optimize this process. If I were automate. I wonder if I can automate this process. I have one of those. I have one of those. Two of those. Two of those. Wow, I got a lot of grapes. Incredible. It's going to be a lot of good wine. More grapes. More hops. More grape juice. I have more honey. The honey is upstairs. I can go grab the honey. I can get some more water. How much more honey do I have? I have... Two things of honey. Two things of honey. I can get 50 things of water outside. And I can make some more mead. Which will really help me out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. I'll take this downstairs. And it is downward facing day to talk to Miss Charm. But talk to Miss Charm. I need the necklace from Snake. To talk to Snake, I need another dark heart. <gasps> Ugh. Politics. It's all the it's all the crossed lines of our social structure. Crazy. Crazy, dude. Crazy, man. I don't think I have enough uh, pumpkins or anything like that to be selling any boxes, I don't think. Do I? I may have enough onions, perhaps? I don't think I do. I think I need to focus on... No, I do not. Okay. I need to focus on the seeds. So what I'm going to do is I know that I can get better seeds by using quality fertilizer. So I'm going to make some quality fertilizer. And I'm going to plant my onions in them. I don't have many Silver Star onion seeds, but I want to use them. And these are already kind of... Um, I do Silver Star gourds here. Uh, I wonder if I can... I guess we'll see. I need to, I'm going to go make some quality fertilizer. The quality fertilizer, the Gold Star one, allows for my plants to take on a higher star level. I think. I think that's how that be. I am honestly unsure, though. Not exactly sure. However, I'm sure I'll check it. Oh, uh, let's make some more fertilizer. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Ah! Go over here, over here. Was it over here for the fertilizer? No, it's over here. To make quality fertilizer, I require peat and flavor enhancer. To create flavor enhancer, I need to go to one of these tables. It's not this one, is it? It's not this one. It's this one up here. There we go. This is flavor enhancer. I need ash. I don't have a lot of ash. Really? I don't have ash? Of all the things, I thought I was missing ash. It's a good thing I've been keeping some of it down here. Nice. Prepare ourselves for that. Nice. Awesome. More flavor enhancers. To make more fertilizer. To make... Good stuff. Do I have any place to put this? I really don't. <laughs> Could I put it in this cabinet over here? I can. There's plenty of space over there. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Let's see. For flavor enhancer, I need all this stuff. That's plenty. That's great. Awesome. And I think I can make more... Oh, do I have... Do I have the per potion perk? Making better potions? Perks, 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 perks. I can't see what perks I have. There's too many. There is just too many of them. It wasn't theology, not anatomy, oh, anatomy and alchemy. I already got that. You've developed an inner voice to help you measure ingredients to produce one extra reagent from any materials. Nice. Very, very good. I will use this for more fertilizer and probably, I will probably do most of my optimization on agriculture next time around. Um... One of these days, I'm really hoping to do a long stream of Graveyard Keeper just so I can get this whole gold thing out of the way. Gotta get that out of the way, if I can. 
which I hopefully can. Uh, this is perfect. The perfect amount of flavor enhancer for the perfect amount of quality fertilizer. Nice. Now what I'm going to be doing is a, it's a quality fertilizer too. That's it. That's why it's got the gold thing on there. And I need more energy. It means I need to drink more. Excellent. Now that I've drunk more, this is good. And I will take that up to... I'm going to keep my faith down here. Keep that down here. I'm going to eat these maggots. Delicious, delicious. Tasty, tasty, wonderful. Actually, while I'm down here, I should make some more flyers. I just need one more set of flyers. Oh, and a body just came in. That's excellent. I need more ink. Oh, wow. I need more ink. Do I not have more ink? There's ink right there. Oh, there's... No, pen and paper. I need pen and paper. And I can make that where? I think over here, right? Bucket of blood. Yum. Paper glot. Don't know what to do with that. Pen and ink. I need feathers. I don't have feathers. All right. I guess I will not be making flyers now. I will wait till later. Another day. I don't really need it. I usually don't produce eight crates worth of goods in a week. I'm not there yet. One day, though. One day I will. You. Dark heart. Dark brain. That's fine. That removes... Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, this is gonna be a really, really good body. Nice, because I re removed most of its evil. That's a pretty good body. Um, This will... The addition of this... This minus is that. So this will... I think removing the blood is a good thing. I think that'll bring this up to six white. Yeah, it did. Oh, nice. Um, Same thing with the fat. Oh, nice. Oh, this is great. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ooh, what more? More minuses? That removes that. Uh, more minus? No, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is the best this body can be. Ooh, that is a quality body. And it's fresh. Like that. I swear, all I really need to do is add a couple of gravestones, add a couple of fences to this graveyard, and it'll be fulfilling basically every single requirement that I need from it. I, I honestly believe that to be the case. Um, when I also remember I wanted an exhumation permission, um, it costs a silver and a thing, but I have it. I've got it. That's good. I will, I have this dark stuff. I'm going to go back in here, go down to my basement, come along down here, put some things in their containers, and then just kind of wait out until the next day. Because next day we'll hopefully be able to talk to the Inquisitor. I, I really hope. If not, I have no idea. In which case, I will also leave it till next time. I, either way, I will... Either way. I will leave, I will talk to the Inquisitor one more time. And then I will save it till next time. We'll see what else comes next time. Probably some more crafting. More, more money. More agriculture. Good stuff. Now, I've got all this other quality fertilizer. Let's put this down here. I don't know if that'll override it. Oh, okay, that does kind of help. Uh, let's do that. Put the fertilizer there. I'm just gonna properly fertilize all this top stuff. That's what I'll do. And then, I want more onions. So, I'm gonna do onion seeds here. Gotcha. Uh, I'll do onion seeds here as well. Uh, I guess I'll do onion seeds there as well. Nice, 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 nice. Gold star, specifically. The ones that have gold stars can be upgraded to gold stars, so I'll put the uh, the silver stars here. Oh, I keep wasting. Oops. Uh, silver star. Um, I want gold star pumpkin seeds here to grow. Gold star pumpkin seeds here as well. And I will apply... Okay, that was the wrong one. Apply some better fertilizer. And put some silver star pumpkin seeds there. Excellent. And as normal, put some carrots, put some carrots, anything else that grows, carrot seed, uh, more silver star onion. Uh, I will apply more fertilizer, fertilizer, quality fertilizer. Excellent. Silver star onion. Nice. Carrots. Eh. Oh, I can sweet. Wheat is good. Wheat is good as well. Beets. We appreciate those. I'll put more beets here. There we go. Alright, nice. I think that'll be good. I'll put the rest of my stuff in the chest over here. Poly fertilizer. And that looks good there. How do I have enough for another box? 
Maybe? I do not. Do not have enough for another box. Sad boy time. But I do have more crops, so I will sell them to the... Oh, it's... It's Claw Day. Claw Day means I can sell to the merchant. I thought... What day is the Inquisitor again? It's Upward Facing Day. Oh, did I miss it? I must have missed it. I forgot which day the Inquisitor comes out on. Whoops. My bad. It's all fine. It's all fine and dandy. My physics teacher in uh, high school used to say that a lot. He's like, that's all fine and dandy. Mr. Quinn was a good teacher. Mr. Quinn was a very good teacher. Now I'm going to take all my wine. All of it. Oh, well, some of it. Uh, let's keep... I'm just going to put the chisel down here for now. I'll... Actually, I'll put the incense down here. I'll keep the chisel with me. That's fine. Now I will make my way to... Um, I'll make my way to the de uh, dead horse. Do I have any barrel certificates? I have one. I will sell it. I will sell all my wine. This is good too. Trade. Here. Take. Take and be merry. So long. I will sell all of my wine to the merchant. Hopefully I get a good price for it. I don't know exactly what the the math is for the price of goods dropping. Um, but it is pretty... I, I don't think it goes down too much. I, I gotta wonder. I'll watch as it goes down. 47 is the maximum. What is the minimum? How low can it go? It really goes down. It's still a lot, though. A lot for me, at least. Honestly, even 30 per... Is pretty good. And he's got a lot. He's got a lot of gold to give me, so that's fine. And even still, not even a gold. Tons and tons of bottles of wine. Only 36. That is unfortunate. Ugh. One day. I don't think I collected any more money. No, I did not. Alright, that's okay. Well, now that I've got that, on my way back, I'm gonna take this body out of the ground. This dead body that's been sitting near the miller. Maybe that'll spark like a quest line. I don't know. To be honest, uh, how how would I know? What what did I gain from this? I don't even know. Maybe the, the wheat field would be less haunted than before. Alright, exhume. I exhume. I dig you up. I take you. I put you away. I um will do nothing more with this. I will take you. And I will probably burn you. Probably. I will send you back to the spirit world. This is the body to burn. This is the body to burn. Today's body shall be burned. Shall be the one, and it shall burn well, with a fire, a fire of passion. Ooh, I need more carrots. There we go. I'll bring you down here. Can you burn in the rain? Yes, yes, you can. The rain cannot stop this burning passion I have for sending people back to the nether realm from whence they came. I'm, I'm down with that. Oh, come on. Please, please go around the tree. Thank you. Silly logs. Silly logs trying to go around the tree. Um, hmm. this way? This way, this way? Hmm. Cremation care is not for weather or physics. No, certainly not. Certainly not. If we let the weather hold us back, what even would we be if we let the weather hold us back? Weather doesn't stop me from going into work. Doesn't stop me from biking to work. Although sometimes I bike, I actually sometimes it does prevent me from biking to work. I um, if the weather's really bad, I take the bus. I'm not. I don't try to put myself in harm's way. If it snows, I bus. If it if it rains, I bus. If not, I'm probably walking. All right, walking or biking, whatever is uh most convenient at the time. Lorelai has a good point there, though. The strangest trade-off for God smiting you the second you go out of where you were where you were put. Right? That's a good trade-off, so trade you know? I can burn bodies in the rain. Nice! I can see into the lives of people's organs before they are even properly burned. That's what a, what a wonderful... What a wonderful ability we have. What an excellent ability. It's something, honestly, if I could look at a person and see aspects of them that I would want to know about, I feel like that would be pretty advantageous. However, I feel like that would also open me to uh, being a very, very judging person, perhaps unrightfully. 
and maybe a little self-righteous too, a little a little pretentious, be like, well, I can see what your soul says about you, therefore I know what kind of person you are. Ah! That's giving like psychopath vibes. Like just because I scan you doesn't mean I know what you're all about, you know? I don't know. I don't know. What does my psychopath really say about me? Am I a psychopath? Maybe. Does that mean I'm a bad guy though? I don't know. I don't really know. In any case, things has gone things have gone pretty well today so far, I'd say. Pretty good indeed. Made a couple more gold. Became a cultist today. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Gotta like that. Honestly, I'm proud that we're here. It's taken a lot of effort to get to this point. 300 blue points. I remember I remember back in the days, back in the days of early Graveyard Keeper, I didn't even think, I didn't even know how to get blue points. It was so unclear to me how to get blue points. But now, man, look at us now, like pros. And one day, we'll escape from this world, this strange purgatory. One day. One day indeed. Uh, la 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 la. So I've got some more things there. I think what I'll do is in the morning, I'm going to go over to the farmer and I'm going to buy more seeds. That's what I'll do. I'll buy more seeds. It's going to cost a little bit of money, but honestly, am I, I'm not even that close to how much money I need to have. And I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, excuse me, that aristocrat is the highest level of honor that I can have from the point of view of the king. That just, that makes sense to me. Like, there's no way, like, it's so, it feels almost borderline infeasible to get the amount of money that I currently require. It's taking so long. Ah, oh, it's such a long time, but ah, oh, I am not that complainatory. We will work on it. I am I am oddly determined. So seeing something like that usually gives me the feeling of like I'm not putting in the effort for that. I'm not gonna do it. But I wanna put in the effort for it this time. I want I have I need to finish this game. I will. I will finish this game. I think this is probably the game that I have streamed most uh most hour potentially the most hours of in my in my uh, streaming career so far, maybe? I don't remember. Oh, you're not open yet. Oh, oh man. Oh, come out. Come out. I will wait for you. Oh, hey there. What's up, Adam? Farmer's son? Sorry. Not now. Don't talk to me. Okay, fine. Yeah, you need to finish your chores. I know, you really do. Um, sir? Would you like to come out now? I have... Good. I want to make a purchase. I would like to make a purchase if you wouldn't mind, please. Purchase time, type of purchase. In the meantime, I'm going to chop down your trees until you give me the opportunity to purchase more goods from you, you zilly zilly farmer. My axe is broken. Well, clearly I'm not going to get on anybody's nerves today, but I already chopped down one tree, and honestly, I think this is the best thing that I could have possibly done with my time. Oh... Well, seriously, Farmer Brown, Farmer, Farmer Kennedy, Farmer Bruddy, Farmer Boo, be really cool if you want to come out now. Hello, knockity knockity nickity knock. No, oh my god, this is unfortunate. Can I harvest your crops for you? Be really cool if I could. Hey, there you are. Hey, bud. At what? What do you sell? What do you sell? Honestly, I've never grown lentils before. I don't have lentils. I have lentil seeds, though. Maybe, do I? I don't know. You don't sell... <sighs> well... You sell up to Silver Star Onion Seeds. And I need Silver Star Onion Seeds to get Gold Star Onion Seeds. So, that's what I'll do. I don't have a lot of... I need more carrot seeds. I'm running out. So, let's just buy... Let's buy... It's in multiples of four. So, let's buy 16. I uh, need more wheat seeds. Let's just let's just buy a bunch of seeds. Uh, this will be fine. Buy some cabbage seeds. Could probably use some good of that. Beet seeds. Only eight. That's fine too. Um, get those silver star pumpkin seeds. All of them, please. Thank you. And the silver star onion seeds. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Gotta cannot accept this offer. Oh, because I don't have enough space. All right. Well, in that case, I'm gonna sell all of my carrots just to make space there we go now i have enough space thank you sir 
Thank you for your patience. I'll bother you again another another time. Oh, bees! But I don't have space in my inventory. Unless I get rid of this dowel. Wooden sticks? Don't need that. Oh, can I not? Oh. For some reason, this beehive is not shakable. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh well. Shrug. Well, I will put all these seeds back in my collection. I will utilize the seeds that I have now in combination with my fertilizer to get the good plant, so to speak. You look like you could use some quality fertilizer. Quality fertilizer too, electric boogaloo. More. Uh, let's do the same thing. I, I knew I have some more stuff. I, I could I should honestly make some more um some more stuff. Here. Um do I have more pumpkin seeds? I have more silver star pumpkin seeds. That's fine. I will do the same thing here. I have enough for more. Uh, I have silver star onion seeds now. Do I have any more gold? I do not. So I will go with the silver. Because I know I have enough of those. There we go. Those are all growing. Um more carrot seeds. More carrot seeds and more carrot seeds. Excellent. And those should be grown hopefully by the next time my things run out. And I have this zombie farm down here. I can upgrade its quality though, but I haven't done so recently. That's okay. That is a-okay. That is all the stuff in my inventory. I have a couple of burial certificates. I can get a pretty petty for that. And... I need to fix my axe. I'll fix my axe. That's what, that's what I'll do. Fix my axe. Fix my axe. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 to fix my axe. Sephiroth. Sephiroth! I don't think I harvested any more things. Oh, there's probably some more wine made downstairs. I can queue some more wine up. Yeah, totally. Honestly, I did not realize the benefit of automation in this game. Now, if only I could automate the whole process, that would be amazing. The entire process of making wine. That would be amazing. That would be so convenient. But in the meantime, put those back. Get the incense back. Um, tomorrow is Upward Facing Day. I will talk to the Inquisitor. And that's probably what I'll call it for the night. Um, hopefully, pressing my fingers, I can start selling things again. And actually, do I have... Where's my beer at? I have my mead. I have my burgers. But do I have my... Oh, you know. What do I need to make more burgers? I need more bread. How do I make bread again? To make bread, I need to to cook dough. I have pastry dough. I need regular dough. To make more dough, I need water and flour. I have flour. I can get more water. I'll make some dough. I'll make some bread. Bread. Good stuff. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Got plenty of water. I'll take it up here. I'll make some dough. Make some bread. Make some sandwiches. Like to see that. Put that in there. Make some, make some dough. I don't need that much dough. That's probably enough dough. Probably. That is a lot of dough. Nice. I will work on this through the night. I will work on my dough through the night. I am a very, very motivated baker. I will stay up until the wee hours of the night to make my dough perfect. Bring this dew upon the world. Now how much can I do with this? Can I cook all of them? I can cook exactly all of them. That's great. And with that bread, I can make burgers, I'm pretty sure. I also need cooked meat. Uh, for that, I need to make more sliced meats. Slice that meat up. I will be able to cook that meat, make more burgers. Great stuff. And then I also require... I, need... I, I knew I had beer somewhere. I thought I had Silver Star beer that I was keeping somewhere. But I might... I Honestly, I might not have. But I got plenty of wheat and whatnot. I can get more, get more hops... Or I can get more water. So I'll bring it downstairs and make myself some hops. Make myself some beer. Call this man a Hillsbury Dope Hillsbury Dope Boy. Nice. Hills buried. The hills are buried. The hills are alive with the sound of keeping. Graveyard keeping, I suppose. I'm down with that. Gold Star Beer. Honestly. If the Gold Star beer works out, if, if this does work out the way that I think it does, and by that I mean I am going to be able to sell my goods again at the fair, at the at the place where we burn witches. 
I'll be so excited. I will be so excited. I will make money. I will buy, I will sell more stuff because I think I get like, I don't remember how much it was. It might have been in the tens range or it might have been in the twenties range where like I am able to like get that amount of like um, silver from those, which is, which is great. And if I can do that every single week, that's perfect. That's, that's an, that's an amazing deal. Are you done yet? Oh, you just finished. Excellent. I appreciate you. Thank you. Mug of beer. We're still cooking over here. It takes a while for the bread to cook. Um, make the best damn burgers you've ever seen. Can make four at a time. Four at a time. Oh, but I'm out of meat. I need more meat. So that'll just be how it is. That's just how it be. All right, up to Witch Hill, where I will... I really hope I can talk to the Inquisitor. Honestly, I really hope that this is what it is expecting me to do. What it is expecting me to do, I hope, is talk to him after a week. If it's not... I have no idea what to do next. Maybe maybe this will make me be seem favorable in the eyes of God, to the point where I can walk into the town again. Oh, hey, everybody's back. Oh, perfect. Please. Please talk to me. I will wait up here for you. I will wait until the day that he comes. Can I do can I do things now? Yes? No. Nope. No point in doing that if you can't burn witches. But the goal is to open this portal over here. Oh, I see lo lunar? Interesting. The moon day is up and so is Martian day. I don't know what that means. But yeah, I need these six items to win the game, I think. The fork I get from the merchant, the mirror I get from the bishop, the coal I get from the Inquisitor, the um, the compass thing looking thing is from the... Uh, I guess it's from the captain? Maybe? I don't know. The infinity book is from Snake. And the necklace may be too? And the necklace is from Miss Charm. So I guess the thingy uh a sextant. I think it's a sextant. It's from the astrologer. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. But I think I'm closer than I think to all those items. Anyway, time to talk. Monsignor, how was your audience? Terrible. These dark organs mean nothing to him. He said it didn't prove anything. What fools they are. While we do nothing, the curse continues to grow in power. Soon enough, it'll be too late to do anything about it. I know you and I have had some hard times. But you know, for the first time, I am humbly asking you for your help. In the name of the family that I've lost, please tell me if you know anything that can be used as evidence of witchcraft or the undead, or any other cult stuff. I could bring you a talking skull. His name's Jerry. There's a dark cult shrine in the cellar under the regular one. I wouldn't know anything about that sort of thing. Talking skull, his name's Jerry. So, a talking skull. Interesting, is he? And he looks like a common skull. He's an alcoholic, but besides that, he's just a normal skull. So what if he doesn't talk? Nobody will know that he's so special. I guess that's true. Um, he might have just pretend to be a dead skull. He does have a bad temper. That's no good. I'm not sure there's any way to compel the dead to talk. I see. Wait. Can I burn witches now, though? Oh! I am disappointed. What does that mean? Wait, did I... Did I pick the wrong option? Is that it? No. Bribe him with alcohol, oh, you dumb arsonist, right? I, oh my god. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to my... I mentioned Jerry's name. Maybe that means I can talk to Jerry. My last thing I'm gonna do is gonna try to talk to Jerry. I mentioned his name. I got an achievement for it. Buddy, buddy, I ousted you. All right. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Well, I'm a cultist now. This is good. I certainly didn't want to oust out uh, Snake. I didn't want to. I didn't want to narc on Snake. He's my boy. Snake's my boy. I didn't want to narc on that boy. He's a good boy. He's my boy. In any case, well, that was wonderful. That was a good time. I'm a cultist now. I can't say it enough. I'm a cultist now. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it implies, but it's great. It's great. Hopefully, I'll be able to figure out next time what I'm missing. I don't know. Until, until then, folks, I have had a wonderful time tonight. Tonight was really, really fun. Sometimes, sometimes the things hit differently. Tonight, it was fun.
it was fun and i enjoyed so in any case thank you everybody so much for watching coming along enjoying yourself i hope if not that is a-okay that is a-okay i need to very very quickly go actually no i don't quickly do anything thank you buddy it's great uh i can't remember didn't we hear that snake was also an orphan give the arsonist a new son right yes i believe snake is an orphan and i believe the bishop and the inquisitor are brothers or at least related somehow and obviously the astrologer is miss charms uh the astrologer is miss charms father we know that at least um ah good night cameron good night kwan i appreciate you coming along it was a good time i keep sorry i'm trying to try to pause my game but i keep i keep sleeping in the bed i need to pause that but it was wonderful. Good night. Sleep tight. Thank you for the stream and hope your days are good ones. I hope so as well. I hope everybody out there is having a wonderful time. Just a quick reminder. You can, there's a little, there's a big blue flame over in that corner over there. There's a watchathon happening right now for a community that I'm a part of. It's the Aura Fury community. It's a nonprofit for people to just play games and whatnot. Um, stick around. I'm going to try to see, to find somebody to raid in the Aura Fury community. I hope that I can find one. It seems that there is a, there's a sparse amount of people this time around, but, um, Quick shout out to uh, Jay Bird earlier today. He was streaming a game called Vintage Story and he mentioned me. It was pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. I appreciate that. Um, and just in general for the Orphury community for being this like cool people and whatnot. Y'all are fun. Maybe one day I'll play Vintage Story. I'll also be back on Friday playing Minecraft for all night. I plan on going all night. It should be a fun time. It's been a while since we did something like that, but hopefully it'll be a great time. It will be a great time. So long as you're there and I'm there, it'll be a great time. Thanks so much, everybody. It's been great. Have a wonderful rest of your night. If it's the night where you are, it's about 11.30 where I am. Yikes. But if not, that's fine. Morning. Have a good morning. Twilight. Dawn. You know the deal. Peace out, everybody. Until next time, hope your days, hope your days are merry and your parties ever longing. Party on until next time, y'all.